Mm okay. Spire of the Dragon. Turn those off. We are just doing Sparksless. Hello, Eliza. Hello, Jenny. We. I hope you're both having a nice December 30th. coming for New Year's, dang. That's too bad. Well, I have gifts for you whenever I see you both next. Mine has been alright so far. Nothing super exciting. I hoped to wake up, like, three hours before I did, but... It's whatever. <laughs> I'll be finishing this run a little late, but that's not too bad. Yo, Lucas. Thank you for the resub. For 13 months straight. Hope you have a good day. Well, that's fine though, Jenny. I clearly need to come up at some point anyway, so that I can meet Yukon Cornelius. He seems like a very sweet boy. That's good. It'll be good to get him a bud. Little kitty friends. Good bonk. <laughs>
Uh, I'll give it one more try. Uh, one more. Last one. Okay, fine. I'm not getting lamp up today. <laughs> oh, actually, I want to flame you. Flame that one really early. Because that gem becomes kind of a pain if you don't. What am I doing? That's not... <laughs> I just kind of forgot how to get this dog for a second. That's fine. That's fine. I can tell I am a little bit out of it. It will take some warming up for sure. That's fine. I'm not all that concerned with how well I do. I mostly just want to finish. <laughs> Sub 10 will be a nice round number that uh, I think I can probably reach, but just having a run on this board at all will be nice. Oh. What? Oh, crud. I need that.
of those loose gems. Oh, how they get me. Ooh. I could have flame charged the fan chest, but I wasn't totally sure where the bull was. And I wanted to be a little careful about that. It's funny how often enemies get in the way of gems in this in a way that you never pay attention to when playing normally. You know what, 1330 artisans, that's not a bad start. I'm, I'm happy enough with this.
bonk, good bonk. I'll go for this wall glide, let's see what happens. I may fail it, but if I do, so be it. Ooh, nice one, clean. Do I have any big 2022 goals? Um, I mean, I've already made some plans. Uh, I'll be running Spyro 1 and Crash 1 in the 1545 any percent relay in April, I think it is, or maybe March, maybe, maybe February. I don't remember when it is. But basically, first thing I'm going to be doing is properly learning Crash 1 any percent. I got pretty dang good at 100%, but have still only done like a total of maybe four any percent runs. Um, and with that, I'd like to see if I can improve at Spyro 1 any percent as well. Because I only really ran that for a few weeks before. Uh, other than that, I don't know. I have things that I'd like to do at some point. Maybe I'll do them in 2022. I have found that, uh... Actually, like, saying things that I want to do tends to be a really good way for me to never get around to doing them. I don't know, a lot of the back half of this year, I was kind of unhappy with uh, how goal-oriented I was. So I don't know, I might, uh, I might try to work harder on just trusting my feelings, I guess, and running whatever I want. I think I started getting a little bit too concerned about how I was doing on leaderboards. Much more concerned than I usually like to be, which is a big part of why I ended up running Crash 1 for like six months this year. That said, now that I'm in a position that I could get the NTSC record in Crash 1, maybe I'll finally learn upstream skip and go back to that. Because that would be kind of a neat, uh, neat goal. And it'd also be nice to be top 10 in Crash 1 without much risk of getting kicked out of top 10 at any time. Because I am top 10 right now, because I'm 10th. And that could stop being true at any moment. This is dangerous. Oh, almost. Almost at it.
I don't know, maybe I'll try to work on my game redemptions more. There are also a few non-redemption games I'd like to do one run of. Like there's an Animorphs game that I played through some months ago. Um, that isn't very long. My first playthrough of it only took a little more than an hour. So I'd like to do a second playthrough and time it. I'd also kind of like to see if there's a way that I could easily play Troggle Trouble Math. Uh, because I would love to try to do a speedrun of that. But that may be a whole something. I don't know. Yeah, Jenny remembers that game. <laughs> what you can do without 120 hanging over your head? Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean, Lucas. Oh, hey, Jenny. Uh, were you one of the people who told me that I should play Talos Principle at some point? I feel like, I don't know, five people recommended that game to me over, like, a three-month stretch. Which is weird, considering it's not like that's a new game. <laughs> it just, I don't know. It apparently just hit people all at the same time. <laughs> I thought you might have been. Well, I started playing it. Eliza and I have been playing through it together. That's the only reason I bring it up. Lego Island 2 when? Maybe 2022. Whenever we figure that out. <laughs> There was another thing that we had also talked about, Mr. Lucas, that also never happened. Ooh, hey, give me that. Another thing I've been thinking about speedrun-wise is just that, um, oops. <laughs> nice. Um. I, I was thinking back on all of the speedrun things that I did this last year, and I would expect that getting 10th place in Crash 1 would be, like, my crowning achievement from this year. I got top 10 in a fairly well-known game. <laughs> a fairly large speedrun, I feel like that's pretty noteworthy, except the thing that I feel the most proud of is just that reboot grind that Muzz and I were doing. I'm so happy with how that turned out. I had so much fun doing that. Way more than I did doing anything else this year. <laughs> So, I don't know, as, as much as I am interested in the 1545 stuff, I really should remember that the thing that I enjoy most about speedrunning is working out obscure games. And I should try to do more of that instead of forcing myself to, uh... to grind other games. 
found a download, good. Could you send that download link to me? <laughs> uh, yeah, basically. I don't know, I'm, I'm caught in a weird place. I think... I think when I started speedrunning, my standards for how I might do were all very, very low. Um, and so, a lot of what I did early in speedrunning was just you know, trying to work out glitches and games, because I figured I could never be good at these games. Like, I could be, you know, fine at them, but not, like, world record good. And now I'm starting to see that, no, I can get in, like, the top five, top ten in some games that I actually like. But that takes a lot of work. And now that I know that I can do that, I'm trying to figure out if I actually want to do that. Because, like, you know, getting the NTSCU region record in Crash 1 would be pretty cool, but also, that might take, like, another four-month grind or something. Do I want to spend months on that? I would like to improve my Spyro 1 PB. Do I want to go for the sub-130 PS1 CS list? That could take a lot of time that I could have spent playing other things. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> the other thing is, I know that I enjoy working with obscure speedruns, but also I feel like I've done most of the games that I would have wanted to. Actually, that's not true. I still want to do Steel Rain. I've never done a speedrun of Steel Rain. I'd love to work that game out. Hey, Flazuki. You just sent me a bunch of good stuff? Okay. I guess I can take a look at that. How you doing, Flazuki? What were you up to? Were you doing... Any percent? I have no idea. <laughs> I know I follow you, but I didn't, uh, I didn't look at my streams list before I started this. When will I speedrun reboot Enzo's homework? I could someday. Would be a fun thing. There we go. Hello, comp. This is Werg. Thank you for the GL. Getting back into 120. Nice, nice. Feel... Hard game, but a fun month. No, I don't know, Lucas. Here's here's the thing about Reboot. Hey, Guitar. Thank you, thank you. Um, when I say the most fun, most fulfilling thing I did this year was the Reboot grind... My goal, as I said it, was to finish 100 runs of Reboot, and I didn't do that. I'm only at, like, 75, because I ran out of time. I, I really needed to get this and Mario Galaxy 2 done before the end of the year when I still had time to do those. 
but my goal of finishing 100 runs of Reboot, I'm thinking of extending to like 500 runs. I really enjoy running that game. I, I haven't gotten sick of it at all, which surprises me, I really thought I would. <laughs> The promise of sub-40 being just barely possible is really enticing to me. It's not like I have any competition to worry about, so there's no feeling of like, am I doing this for myself, am I doing this for speed clout? I'm definitely not, nobody cares about reboot. <laughs> It just, I don't know, the reboot grind feels very pure for what speedrunning is to me, I guess. Ooh, Incredible Machine, that'd be a good one too. Museum Madness actually has speedruns, I believe. history incoming. I've always thought it would be really funny to see a world record history video for a game that only one person ran, but that one person took really seriously. I thought about it, obviously, after running Reboot for a while. That section with those three wizards is... can be a little tough. If you mess up basically any of your flames, there's a decent chance you'll get hit. Come on. <laughs> I can't catch this cycle. Oh, yes I can. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't expect that cycle to work out. Oh, the other thing I already basically have planned... maybe. Uh... The 1545 is organizing an any percent swap, meaning people who haven't run a game much or at all will pick up an any percent category and run those for a relay, a relay race. And I signed up for that with Super Mario Sunshine, which I have not done a run of and is one of the few remaining 1545 games that I just don't really know much of anything about. It's basically that and Banjo-Tooie. So I might learn Sunshine any percent this next year as well. <laughs> Oops, that's... I did some bad movement there, and I'm surprised that I didn't die. <laughs> I don't know, Lucas, I think that could be kind of funny. <laughs>
I haven't picked up many extra lives, have I? I think I died an extra time and I picked up one extra life. There aren't any here, but I should pick up some extra lives in general. You know what, j -Row, I have not thought about it, no. I have picked up extra lives. I'm on six lives right now. I don't remember where else I picked up an extra life. I only remember one. Oh well. Not important. No! Bone Dance, LMAO. What's up, Aqua? What? Oh, why did I press X there? <laughs> oh my goodness, what a silly mistake to make. That was really funny, though. <laughs> Not even mad. <laughs> it's not that much time loss, all things considered. Jero, I specifically don't do them in order so that I can end on Bone Dance. It's for the split that it's obviously for, by context. Three has a bone dance, but you can't end on three bone dance. No, don't glide, dang it. Oh gosh. I messed that up completely. Did I collect that egg? Did it give it to me? Hold on. It did give it to me, good. <laughs> Skipping into SBR isn't the issue. <laughs> Spyro 3 ends when you finish the second sorceress fight. Spyro 2 ends whenever you get the last collectible. Also, hello, Pierre. Sparksless looks horrib. You're not wrong. It's pretty rough. None of the Sparksless categories are as bad as they sound. But they're all kind of bad. <laughs> They're definitely a lot easier if you're already decent at the game. <laughs> Which is why Sparksless 120 is the only one of these categories I'm any good at. 
I have still never played ETD Aqua. Someone should get the any percent ETD recce. I'm pretty sure someone has it. I don't know who, but I'm pretty sure somebody does. <laughs> Sparksless just egg? Sparksless just egg is easier than just egg. That's not how I do this. I'm doing this wrong. Oops. Oh well. Minor thing. I would like to give ETD any percent a try, though. Reminds me a lot of Jersey Devil any percent. Just short, sweet, straight to the point. I'd like to give it a shot sometime, but I should play the game first. Trying to stream a VR game when you get back to Rochester, what game should you stream? I don't know. I can only name like four VR games. Jero, make a VR game and then stream it. As we learned, Unreal has built in VR game support. Gimme! There we go. Get really into DOS games? I could. It would be an option. I would be lying if I said I hadn't thought about it. Nope. Also, what's up, Shemp? I saw you there. I forget if I actually said anything in response to it. <clears throat> what game is that, Jenny? Or, I mean, what quote is that? What's the quote? Give me the quote. The quote. The quote. There's a moon that you can break. And there's a song that ends with some voice being like, and I like it too. Tough bugs. I I don't know what you're talking about, Jenny. <laughs> that doesn't sound familiar. I can't picture mom doing that. <laughs> Crud. Is that, is that the first time I've ever died there? <laughs> Maybe. Could be. Could be.
Dang it. <laughs> I was hoping to pick that up, but oh well. Ah, <sighs> dang. Out of everyone, Hangman. I am the first person to try to do a Sparksless 337. I am also still the only person to have done a Sparksless 117, but other people have done Sparksless 120, and other people have actually beaten me in Sparksless uh, Hundo. No, I need that. She'd know what you're talking about? Okay. I guess I'll talk to her tomorrow. <laughs> I can ask her then. Yeah, Hangman, kinda. Go for it. Do a Sparks 117. I'd love to see it, Hangman. I would love to have more names on that leaderboard. What am I doing? I mean, yeah, if you're not using the hack, then it's literally impossible no matter what. So yeah, you'd have to have... you'd have to get some kind of a game shark. Which is what I'm using right now, I'm playing on console. Actually, I think most but not all of the top Sparksless runners have been on console. <laughs> Um, if someone does a 1545 any percent, what category is used for SM64? 70 star. Which is a decision that a lot of people are unhappy with, don't complain to me about it. So... I just said don't complain to me about it! <laughs> Yeah, so the reason is the 1545 is a collection of other multi-game speedruns. And so the any percent portion of it... Shut up, Hangman. <laughs> Let me finish. I'm talking about it right now. The any percent portion of it comes from the Mario 242, which is SM6470 star... I think it's 242. It's 70 star... Uh, Galaxy is... 60, maybe? Galaxy 2 is 70, and Sunshine is however many Sunshine is. But, uh... Yeah, basically, they wanted categories for the, the Mario multi-game any percent that were somewhat comparable in length. 
and zero star doesn't fit in that. So they decided to just use 70 for the multi-game Mario one, because the multi-game Mario one isn't any percent. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to flame both of those. That, that's basically what it comes down to. The Mario one wasn't originally supposed to be any percent. It was supposed to be some collection of shorter, non-full completion categories. And so they went with 70 star. The dumb thing is, the 1545 also has a restricted any percent, which is where things like uh, Spyro 2 214 tally or Spyro 300 egg would go. But it's still just Mario 70 star. The Mario games don't change. So yeah, people... There are people who are frustrated by it, but they're basically all people who aren't already multi-game Mario runners. Maybe it's 40 Orb, I don't know. Yeah, it probably is, actually. I don't know, you can you can check the categories. It's a free website, speedrun.com slash 1545. Ah, oh, rats. I tried to be so fancy there, and it was such a mistake. No. Okay, okay, we're fine. The other reason, as I understand it, is a lot of people kind of hate Zero Star, because it's basically RNG. He found an ALF game? It's ALF, he's back in DOS form? needed that. <laughs> I'll have to remember to get that later. No! Okay, okay. It was almost a problem, but we managed. Dang it, <laughs> come on. Sorry, Misty Bog is a long and difficult level and I'm missing, like, all of chat right now. I'm seeing TV shows named, like the Dick Van Dyke Show and the Twilight Zone and Star Trek. So I guess it's a conversation about good TV, I don't know, I can't keep up.
Mash is also great, that is true. Playing it safe. Rugrats. Kinda rough, but we got through it without dying. Hangman leveled up, let's go. And the elf's party kit seems important. Good. I'm glad. I kind of want this. I, I don't need lives, but I just, I want them. I don't trust myself to not take them. Oh, I just remembered, uh, since I can't keep up with chat anyway, I'm just not going to be responding to whatever's in there. Um, <laughs> Lucas, you asked me earlier what goals I had for 2022 were. Honestly, I enjoyed running Crash offline. I might just try streaming less. <laughs> I can... Like, I'd like to stream the game redemptions and stuff, but in terms of games that I grind, I should probably just be doing a lot of that offline. I think that's probably better for me. It would also lower my number of stream redemptions, yes, that is true. Don't. Yeah, that's what I thought. At John Unfill, let's go, Sparksless Double Stone Nut. <laughs> Don't jump there, you dummy. Oh, we tried. We tried, John. I'm so sorry. John unfulfilled, you yeah. know. That was a really bad attempt of it, too. I did it completely wrong. I know what I was doing wrong. The first thing I did wrong was I tried to do Double Stone Knot. I think I do need that, Jenny, yeah.
what happened to Stone Knot? Okay, so we found out it's actually faster to do Stone Knot twice. J like, barely. By, like, a second. Uh, you do Stone Knot twice. Dang it. <laughs> uh, where you clean up all the gems on the bottom with Supercharge. But it's ridiculously hard, and nobody's done it RTA, and I keep trying. It's called Double Stone Knot. But I'm gonna get it one day, and it'll make John Unfill so happy. And really, isn't that everyone's goal in speedrunning, to make John Unfill happy? Didn't he used to be named Stone Knot? No. Stone Knot and John Unfill are two different people. I... I don't think I understand what you're saying, Aqua. Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> John Unfill was the one who figured out that Double Stone Knot was fast. I mean, he was the one who, like, passed it and confirmed it. I was the one who suggested it. Yeah, I mean, the skip itself, the... the, the scenery jump there to get up there, that is still called Stone Knot. Oh, it collected. Good. Should be called Stone Knot into an Unfill. <laughs> oh, I can't catch that. Oh well. Disappointing. I messed up too much. I need to get that gem later. No, why would I jump there? I've been jumping so many extra... Nice. I've been jumping so many extra times today. Oh, God. Just in general, this has been pretty bad. Are you serious? Okay, gang. We have one more level, and then we're at the point where, uh, 
We're at risk of, of soft locking the game and needing to restart. But first we get to go through Haunted Towers. Wee! You don't know any famous snowboarders? What about that one? You know the one. I'm sure if somebody named a famous snowboarder, just like the first one that comes to mind. Yeah, Carrot Top. What's his name? It'd be the one that I'm thinking of, but whose name I can't remember right now. <laughs> I didn't mean to kill that wizard. That was, that was dumb of me. Mr. Snow. Sean White. That's the one I was thinking of, yes. I, I accept that it's not a great sign that I said, you don't know any famous snowboarders, what about, and then couldn't remember their name. Okay, so yeah, uh, I can softlock in Dark Passage. Um, I do a trick called Zombie, and it's possible that it'll softlock the game. Boardy McBoard face, that's it. So zombie is a cool trick, where basically, we die as we free a dragon. And what that does is it tricks the game into keeping Spyro alive, but you have no health, so you can't die. The game thinks you're in, like, a dead state. So nothing does damage to you, which is why I go for it in Dark Passage. Dark Passage is a very hard level. It's nice to not be able to take damage through most of it. Uh, that is the only upside. <laughs> Normal downsides include you can't get sparks back, but that's fine because we're in a sparksless run anyway. Uh, you can't pause to leave the level, which is a problem. So we need to get rid of it at some point within the level. Uh, if you jump and charge down a, uh, a cliff, like a pit, you will just go past the death plane because you're in a dead state already so the death plane can't kill you and if you're charging then you can't get out of the charging state in the air so you're you're stuck you're soft locked uh also if you fall into water you cannot change your state you just kind of get stuck floating in the water you can't jump out of it you can't run out of it um, yeah. I'm not really at risk of jumping and charging off a cliff. I feel pretty confident in my ability to not do that. I'm sorry. Did I get the gem that's over here? I normally get this one. I did get it. Okay. I normally get that one earlier, and I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Anyway, the way... The way that we get out of zombie is... Uh, you can still get out of it. You can still die by, um, if you aren't charging, but you're falling. If you just, like, jump and let yourself fall off a cliff. After, I think it's six seconds, you just void out and respawn. And when you do that, you lose zombie. So, I'm going to try to get zombied on the first dragon in the level... And then I'm going to lose it after freeing the third dragon. Normally I lose it after freeing the fourth dragon, but there's big soft lock potential in that room. So I, uh, also I might lose a bunch of time right here. I didn't. Let's go. With the way I do this route, there's a chance that uh, Nork will just fall through the floor. I, I don't have a good answer for why. <laughs> it, it has to do with the way that room loads in. You can approach it in such a way that the Nork is running around on floors that hasn't loaded in, and so he just kind of falls through the floor. Super school and farm, and then he goes to space? That sounds good.
So yeah, Dark Passage, let's go. It's what bears do. Why did I flame that? I got so turned around there. Oops. I was looking at chat, which I shouldn't have been doing. It's fine. We're fine. Don't like those turtles, but we're fine. Okay. Okay, so we got zombied. We did it. No, here's the thing. There aren't many cliffs that I can fall off of in this level. That's why... Also, yeah, as you can see, I just took a hit and I'm fine. Um, there aren't many cliffs in this level is the thing. And there is water all along the bottom here, but like... I need to play it really dumb to fall into the water here. Most of this level takes place in contained tunnels. Oh, except this. This is a risk, actually. That I just went for anyway. <laughs> The other nice thing about this is you can charge fireworks chests to blow them up. Okay, so there's this, but this jump is easy. And not really a risk at all. But yeah, it's so nice to just be able to, like, tear through all of this. Okay, and then I'm gonna free this dragon, and then I'm gonna go lose zombie. There we go, and we're fine. So yeah, there are a bunch of things that can hurt you in this level. For the most part, what I just did basically goes past all of it, where I'm invincible. Everything else has pretty easy lines you can take to uh, just avoid taking damage. There we go, we're out of there. Just like that. Dang, went too far. No, don't! Oh my god, I'm dumb. 
There we go. Wait, I might have just seen the game that you were talking about. Was it... was it that Barney game? Is it exactly what the title sounds like? I will. I will look at it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so... So... <laughs> you guys know Barney, right? The, the big purple dinosaur? <laughs> Apparently... There was a DOS game called Barney Hunter. It is exactly what you think it is. Dead. <laughs> Reward relief. Wow. Oh no. Humanity, what will you come up with next? Oh, that's right. I forgot about my route. Uh... Yeah, I messed up. Oh well. I forgot I can't do my normal lofty route sparksless. What am I doing? Get the 
get the dragon. That's too low. That's too low. <laughs> this is what I get for never taking the supercharge ramp. There we go. I think this is what I'm going to have to do here. make up for for all of that killing enemies in a specific order just so I can end on the one and only red spring chest <laughs> Oh boy. Wait a minute. Ugh, rats. Let's just, uh, let's just do that, I think. I don't know, honestly, maybe I should start to just... Start just doing the Wally route for Jacques and Sparksless. Because I need to get so many extra loose gems early. I don't know, it's, it's kind of starting to feel more and more worth it to just do the faster route anyway. And I'm not... Or at least when I'm in practice, I'm not bad at the... Uh, at jumping up onto the, the thing, the platform. So there's really not much reason for me not to. Other than just habit. Crud. Crud. <laughs> yeah. That's why I get everything there. <laughs> beforehand.
<sighs> On to the last world. Almost done with the first whole Spyro. Nork Cove continuing to be the hardest level in this game. <laughs> failed that jump in so long. Why? <laughs> oh, that that really stinks. There we go. I was under the impression you could just charge jump through that and get it. Maybe I did something wrong. I... That's not Norkov being hard, that's me playing bad. That's not right at all. Oh my goodness. <sighs> oh, Nork Cove. You're the worst. The Caveman Oglympics? Maybe. Better give me a link, just to be safe. Just in case I do need it. Piper, thank you for the GL. Hope you're doing well. We've already got through all the scariest parts of Spyro 1, so 
I'm pretty happy with how this is starting. You watched a movie today. What did you watch, Eliza? It's a good day so far. Excellent. Although I am in the part of Spyro 1 that I haven't played in a while, because when I tried doing a practice run the other day, I softlocked Dark Passage. But still, these last few levels are not terribly hard. Which is surprising to say about Twilight Harbor, because <laughs> normally Twilight Harbor is pretty hard, but... But I feel comfortable with it. Oh, it follows! Yeah, I saw that one. That one was pretty good, I remember. Don't want to spend time on Sparksless sometime? It's fun. It's surprising how fun it is. Oh, it's so easy to get caught up in a million different games to play. <laughs> Why am I getting this? I have ten lives. I don't need that. The cave. That sounds familiar. I'm not sure that I've seen that one, but I feel like I might have heard of it. No, maybe I saw that one. That does sound really familiar. Trapped in a network of caves in the ocean. Never mind, I don't think I did see it. I think whatever I'm thinking about involves caves like below a city. Chloe! Yo! Thank you for the raid. What were you up to today? Were you doing more memory mapping? Yes, Pog. Very sparksless mess, thank you. 
One lap, let's go. Yo, Nox. So much math, let's go. Got all the gems. Step? Yeah! <laughs> this is amazing. I'm so good at video games, guys. Vortex, let's go! <laughs> Puzzling about linear algebra? Fun. Hmm. Yeah, no, I just need to get Nasty to push me here. <laughs> what a silly way to die. That's fine, it's like just a minute that I lost, it's whatever. <laughs> There we go. That's better. Thank you, Muzz. Also, welcome, Muzz. I feel like I've played the Caveman Ooglympics before, actually. What about the nasty Gnor? Nasty Gnor? Sounds familiar. Might have looked at that one once. Anyway, did I miss any? Any chat? Very sparkless mist. God, I love Ellie's scrum emote. So good. Piper, are you interested in doing any other visualizations, or are you just interested in learning about about it just for the sake of learning about it? Yeah, there are a couple of ways to skip the credits, but I like watching them. I like taking this this few minutes to just stand up and stretch. <sighs> Did you find anything interesting today, Chloe? Anything worth sharing? No sheep were harmed in the making of this game. Love that line. <laughs> you learned you need to relearn linear algebra. Fair. Jenny, I, I love that image you sent me. <laughs> Gram number, the game completely breaks. <laughs> Fun. Hey, Sarah. Magnus. Yo, John. John, you'll be happy to know. I went for Double Stone Not Sparksless again, and I failed it, but I tried. I tried just for you. I vocally added you when I did it. Maybe it took a while for you to hear. Hey, 
least we got those magic stairs. Just for John. Not because I do that all the time anyway, because I love them. Did I say Boar Flame Charge when I tried to do it? No, but I did say at John on Phil. But that, uh, that did not seem to be enough. Oops. Surprised that worked, but I'll take it. Give me that. Yeah, honestly, Piper, if you aren't already following Chloe, you should. Also, everybody should follow Chloe. The stuff she's been working on lately has been pretty cool. Ooh. Lot of gems. Lot, lot of gems. Lot of gems that I'm getting optimally right now, actually. This is the, I routed it out, this is the ideal path. Look at that. Perfect. Flawless. No mistakes. <laughs> you just did. Good. 144.16. That is not bad. Considering I don't run Spyro 1 much anymore. <laughs> You're never gonna let the bit die? Good. I wouldn't expect any less from you, Sarah. Next game! Yos too. Grain Grag. Grain Grag. Take off restore double jump, so we just have sparksless. Is zero gems possible in a run? Kinda? Yes, if you're cheating. Uh, in Spyro 2, yes. Just a flat yes. Actually, you know what, before I start playing this, I'm gonna just get a, uh, a cup of water, because I haven't been drinking anything, and I should be. That's the spirit. <clears throat> okay, so for Spyro 3, I'm hoping this will take less than five hours. There's a cat on you, oh no. I need a water Wazowski? I do.
What's up, John? Nice. H2 Wazowski? Does that work super well when spoken? There's no O sound in Wazowski though. There's an owl. I don't. There's. It's not H2O though. I don't expect, uh, I don't expect these proxies to work for me. Oh well. Not a big deal. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. H. Tuzowski? Tuzowski? Oh, crud, I needed that enemy. I didn't know he can run up here, actually. Haven't seen him do that. So, the nice thing about running Spyro 2 and 3 Sparksless is that flame charges are a lot easier in Spyro 2 and 3. Like, it's ridiculous how easy they are. But there's also more gems that are scattered further, and the levels are much wider, and I'm also just less familiar with the games. So Spyro 1 is the only one of these I'm actually good at. I agree with you, John, that a better name than Water Wazowski exists. I'm not I'm not so convinced that H Tuzowski is that name. Hey, nice. I've been really bad at that jump. <clears throat> um Excuse me? Excuse me, give me the thing. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was a gem in this corner. I'm glad I checked. So, for context, back when I was actively running Sparksless 120, I also did a Sparksless Spyro 2 and a Sparksless Spyro 3 run. My Spyro 2 run was just under 3 hours, it was like 251 or 253 or something. There's a gem in there, I forgot. No, that's a frog, never mind. Um, my Spyro 3 run was just under 6 hours, it was like way up in the 5 hour range. Over the course of this month, I've been practicing Spyro 3, and I've gotten a lot better at it. And now my Sparksless 117 PB is a little under 5 hours. It was a 448, and to be frank, it wasn't actually very good anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if I could get, like, a 430 in this game. Uh, Spyro 2, on the other hand, I have not practiced. And I haven't really played it in a while. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's even worse than my other run. <laughs> if it goes well over three hours.
Why am I doing the games out of order? That's a good question. Um, the way... Basically, the answer is it's for a joke. I need that. Uh, in Spyro 1 and Spyro 3, time ends when you beat the last boss, or finish the last level, because... Uh, oh my goodness, please. <laughs> also, was there a gem here that I missed? There was. Huh. Oh, probably from the enemy I got, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. Time ends in Spyro 1 and 3 on the last level, or the last boss, because that is a signifier that you did everything. There is no other way to do that without getting everything. In Spyro 2... We deliberately beat the last boss early. Um, it, it just ends up being faster for runs. So, in Spyro 2, time ends whenever you get the last collectible, whatever the last collectible is for your route. And you may remember, in the level Scalos Badlands, there's a thing where a caveman has uh, a friend who's lost his bones, and when you return his bones to him, he does a little dance. I have routed Spyro 2 to end on getting that, so I can see the dance at the end of the run. I love doing that. I end all of my trilogy runs that way. I end my Sprash Vectas that way. Someday when I do a solo 1545, I will end it on Bone Dance. So yeah, that's why. Hi, Spyro. John's got a hot take, as he does. Gimme. I didn't mean to jump there, but oh well. I... okay. I'll get that in a second. These lizards are big stinkheads. That is a fact about this game. Bone Dance is the only redeeming quality of two hundo. I don't know that that's a hot take, John. I might go so far as to say, yeah, I agree. Okay, well, that's fine. That's actually fine. I've said it many times, every Spyro 2 category is a meme category. <laughs> I stand by that. I actually want to crash here, and that's intentional. Because that's really the only way I can reasonably get those gems. Oh, I forgot about the one in here. Dang it. That's fine. I'll just take an extra second going around. Tallies is the only real category, except that it's still a meme category just by the fact that it's not any percent. Spyro 2 is just a big meme game. I apologize to people who like Spyro 2. I like Spyro 2. I should say that. I enjoy Spyro 2. I have a lot of fun running Hundo. I just think it's a meme game. Like Vortex of Spyro 2 and 3? Yeah, kinda. Um... So, Spyro 3 any percent? is very similar to Vortex. Here's the problem. Spyro 3 any percent... Ooh, gosh, I am shocked I didn't crash there. I'm so happy. Spyro 3 any percent and Spyro 2 14 Talisman are similar to any to Vortex in that the game wants you to go through end-of-level portals. Um, however, you still don't actually have to do every level. I missed a gem, right here. Um, in Spyro 2 and 3, you don't have to do the levels in the last homeworlds. 
There are category extensions. Not official ones, but unofficial ones. Dang it. Unofficial category extensions for uh, going through all of the end of level portals in Spyro 2 and 3. That would be the closest thing to Vortex, but nobody really runs those. I wouldn't say Vortex is a cheap knockoff of Tallies and 3 any, because that does a disservice to where Vortex actually came from. Uh, that exists! A new record was actually gotten in that recently, Absent Friend. So that run is called Vortali Any. Made as a... there's a gem here, isn't there? Yeah. Made as a portmanteau of the three category names. And Absent Friend recently got the first sub-120 in that. And by recently, I mean like yesterday, I think it was. Vortex came from Forward 1 just wanting to do something in Spyro 1 to end 120 streams when he didn't have time for another run. It wasn't supposed to be like Tallies or 3 Any, it was just something to do in Spyro 1. Yo, Toop. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, Bone Dance is why this order. <clears throat> the two percent milk. Should be all the gems in this area. In this, like, little starting room, not this side area. Come on. And then I should actually get all of these right now, because I'm just gonna forget about them if I don't. Too multitask. <laughs> uh, this is the first ever Sparksless 337 attempt for anybody. I am the only one who has done Spyro 3 Sparksless. I have the Sparksless 120 record. A few people have, uh, have tried that one, and I am currently last place in Spyro 2 Sparksless. <laughs> I had world record until like a month ago, when Zachary Lawrence got like 40 minutes better than me, and then Noyar also did it and beat me by like half an hour. <laughs> But yeah, nobody's done all three yet. This was originally... People were talking about doing this as a race, but uh, that didn't end up going through. Last place out of three. <laughs> but in Spyro 1, I'm first place out of, like, I don't remember, seven or something? A fair number of people have done that now. I 
I didn't do this the way I normally do, so I need to take an extra few seconds to get all these gems that I'm not used to needing to go after. <laughs> nice. I think these should be it. I think... I think that's it. Yeah, overall Spyro 1 is the most popular. Um... Yeah. I feel like a lot of that just comes from... One, having the most active top-level runners. People like running things that they get to see a lot of. And so, once a game starts being popular, that also just kind of compounds on itself, I think. Yeah, learning gem counts in this is actually really hard, and I haven't done it, and I haven't bothered doing it. And I don't know that I ever will bother doing it. I've learned where all of the gems are. <laughs> I needed that guy. Come here, you. Come here, you. Thank you. It might be that a little bit. Um... Dang it, I wanted that guy. Spyro 2 has some fairly difficult tricks that you need to learn if you want to do basically any category. Um, and Spyro 3... Either you want to do a really... Yeah, okay. Either you want to do a really trick-heavy category, or you want to do 117, which is minimum three hours long. Probably closer to, like, six if you're new. So I think... I think part of it is also just that Spyro 1 is the easiest of the three games to pick up. Oh, wait, no, wait. Sorry, I forgot. This isn't... I do this different verse if I'm if I'm doing the Sparksless versus regular 117. I forgot. If I'm Sparksless, I get all these gems and then do Whirlwind Bypass. If I have Sparks, I do Whirlwind Bypass first and get all of these while swimming. Yo, Ted. Ted, I saw... You did an N++ run. <laughs> I've been meaning to verify that, but I was happy to see see that from you. Trying for sub-30? I believe in you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, yeah, no, I'm lost. Where is it? Oh, but it's always hard to start the kind of thing. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. I have found a lot of fun in just getting myself to do first runs of games. Just 
just because I find that that makes it much easier when I do want to pick up a full game for a long time. Uh, come on, there you go. That makes it much easier to pick up new games that I actually want to run. Muzz. I mean, yes, Muzz, but... Pull it back, we can be more discreet in pushing reboot on people. Uh, yeah. Also, I don't know if you have much experience speedrunning at all, uh, but speedrunning is definitely at its hardest when you're just starting it for the first time. Not even with individual games, just like in general. Getting used to using the timer and splits and stuff can be, uh, can be a whole thing. That list is also pretty out of date, not gonna lie. There's definitely a bunch of things that I've run that aren't on that. Or that are marked incorrectly on that, I guess I should say. Can we do a blind race soon? Yes. It's been a while since we've done one. Was our last one Stuart Little? No. It was Monsters, Inc., wasn't it? I still don't remember when that was, but it's been a while. Still like July, yeah. Oh yeah, let's blind race a game where game overing sends you back to the start menu. That that sounds like a good game for a blind race. <laughs> Rugrats in Paris, that's right. I played that as a kid, so it wouldn't technically be blind for me, but it's been a long time since I've played it. And I have never watched a speedrun of it. I think I have my copy of it around here. Zoe, why? <laughs> I was so far away from you. Also, the comment is already off screen, but I think I saw Tuper say a Kid Cosmic game would be awesome, and I agree it would, and also Kid Cosmic is an amazing show that everybody should watch. Kid Cosmic is a cartoon on Netflix, and it is, honestly, one of my favorite cartoons. It's so good. I am excited for that, Lucas. Yes. It's cool to see that they're doing a movie. Uh... It seems to be picking up where Season 2 left off, and Season 2 left off in a weird place that I wasn't sure how they would handle. And the answer of, they're doing a movie, makes a lot of sense for it. So I'm I'm very excited. Also, everyone should watch Hilda 2. It's very good. It is also a cartoon on Netflix. <clears throat> Sorry, Bagel. I... this isn't a route. <laughs> Routes have a plan. <laughs> I'm just kind of running around getting all of these, eventually. At last! Love that guy. There we go. Everyone should see the show Hilda. Around getting all of these sounds like a plan to you? That's fair. I guess it's a kind of a plan. Bad plans are still plans. Ooh. 
Ooh, ouch. <laughs> A resolute intention. I don't know why I keep trying for the proxy there. I don't know what to do with the proxy route. I've never gotten it before. <laughs> Also, just so everybody knows, um, Spyro... So Sparksless runs, for the most part, they are one-hit challenges, but the hardest part of them tends to be the fact that you don't have Sparks collecting your gems. But I would say Spyro 3 is the hardest of them in terms of the fact that one-hit kills you. This is actually a fairly hard game. In a lot of spots, at least. I think Gulp and Spyro 2 is the single hardest fight, but Spyro 3 has a lot of other hard fights, and Gulp is kind of the only hard part of Spyro 2 in that sense. No! No. Okay, there we go. Okay, I, I need to actually focus on this area for a minute. There's a whole route here I learned. Because this section is hard. In my Sparksless 117 PB I had the other day, uh, I died like seven times here. I died here a lot. Basically, normally, uh, as Sergeant Bird, you can be carrying stuff and still collect gems. Because Sparks is nearby to collect stuff for you. But in Sparksless, I need to collect stuff well on the ground not holding anything. So, the route here changes quite a bit because of that. Not a whole lot, I guess. It's mostly just a few spots you do in a slightly different order. Uh, okay. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Yep. Why does 337 Sparks full run? I, I should actually do a 337 normally at some point. Because I never... I never play the games together in Sprash Vector runs. So I don't actually have a very good 337 PB. <laughs> or at least not very good compared to what I know I am capable of getting, I guess I should say. Come on. I got the balloon that was in here, right? Yeah, I did. I did. Take this. And that gem sitting there should be the last one in this room. Yeah, okay. Okay, good. <sighs> hey, Thrasher. Spyro. Thank you, thank you. And Noi, thank you for the many GLs. Uh, wait, yeah, no, this is right. Here's a thing I will fail at a few times. I got it first try! Let's go! That usually takes me, like, five tries. <laughs> oh. 
I have been practicing a bunch. I've mostly been practicing Spyro 3, to be fair. I have actually barely touched Spyro 2 in the last month, which isn't good, and that one will take me a while. No, stop it. Stop moving. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Uh, wait, no, that's not right. Crud. I got... I got turned around. I need to route this area better. <laughs> yeah, you know what, let's just... let's just do that. Nope, come on. Nope, come on. There you go. And then I'm going to take this extra life, because I kind of need extra lives. And that should be it here, actually. Do I need Ford Simulator 5 and 6? I don't think I need those, to be honest. I think I can do without them. Last gem? Last gem? Nice. I haven't missed a gem yet. I'm really happy. In my Sparksless PB, I missed a gem in, I think, three levels in Sunrise? <laughs> and had to go, go hunting for them? That's the thing about Sparksless 117. In normal 117, uh, after the second Sparks level, you unlock the Sparks Gem Finder. So, if you miss a gem early in the game, you just leave and come back to the level later. I am aware of that, John. I will talk about that in a minute, because there's a whole story there. Anyway, you just leave and come back to the level later, and if you miss a gem in a later level, it's fine because you have the Sparks Finder, so you can find it quickly. Um, in Sparksless, you never have the Sparks Finder, so you need to just go hunting for gems immediately, and it's a pain. So I'm happy I'm not missing any. Anyway, when I made my PayPal account several years ago, I typoed my name. Uh, my name is Andrew. I accidentally spelled it Andrew Wee. And I was like, oh hey, I noticed this immediately. I should fix this. And so I went to PayPal's like support thing and was like, hey, my name is wrong, I want to fix it. And they were like, oh, I'm sorry, Andrew, what is your name? And I typed in Andrew, you know, like the name that is an actual human's name. And PayPal was like, okay, so your name is Andrew, is that right? Are you sure your name is Andrew? And I'm like, yep, Andrew is correct. And it said, okay, Andrew, we've fixed your name. Would you like anything else? And it didn't fix my name, and I gave up on it. I, I got mad and quit. <laughs> it's just been Andrew -y since then. star. Stew is still salty. Names do suck, I agree. Would you all believe that is not the worst experience I've had with an automated help system <laughs> being completely unhelpful? One time, 
I have like five Gmail accounts for different things. Uh, one time, my Gmail account that I have for like applying to jobs and important things like that, I lost access to. <laughs> I don't know why. Google was apparently like, hey, I don't think this is a real person. You don't get to have this account anymore. And it kept telling me, like, well, you have a security email associated with this account, so, you know, can you just, like, go through your security email, change the password on the locked account, and, uh, and we'll say, great, you have your account again. And so I tried doing that. I went through a thing. It said, like, okay, so... This is your security email. This is the locked account. Is that all correct? And I said yes. It said, okay, can you provide a password, a new password, for your locked account? And I said, yeah, sure. And gave it a, a new password for my locked account to unlock the account. And it said, great, we've changed the password on your security account. And it, it wouldn't change the password on my locked account. It kept changing the wrong password. And I, I got so mad at that, I read through these instructions like a dozen times to make sure I wasn't just crazy. But no, it was actually changing the wrong password every time. Uh, that was when I found out Google actually has no real technical support. Now we're on hold listening to automated messages telling you about how great online banking is. Well, you're calling because you couldn't log into online banking. They only have your landline from like pre-2008. Amazing. Credit card pin is the account pin. They couldn't access it because the credit card expired and that was like eight years ago. Fantastic. I wish I could remember the actual series of steps that... Really, that guy hit me. The actual series of steps that drove me so crazy with Google's... Uh, with Google's um, like technical support ticket system. Because of course, it was just an automated system. This is a free system for their billions of users. They're not going to actually have people helping. They try to use robots to fix everything. Um, did I get that Rhinoc or did he disappear? Where did he go? I must have gotten him and just forgotten. That's the only thing that makes sense. Anyway... It was something like, though, there was a general ticketing system uh, that I had a problem with, and when I tried to report that the system was broken, it tried sending me through the same broken system. Just complete, completely ridiculous. I've recently had a problem with Discord, where, um, dang it, where my emotes aren't available to my subscribers on Discord like they're supposed to be, and Discord support representatives have been contacting me about once a week trying to get updates on it, 
or trying to give updates on it. And the updates have basically always amounted to nothing has changed, but the fact that they're still talking to me makes this the best online support system I've ever used. And that's even considering the fact that the first, like, four messages that, again, were happening about a week apart just involved them not seeing what the issue actually was. Awesome. I told them the issue, and they were like, Oh, you should be doing this, and I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. Did you read what the issue is? And they're like, oh, I'm sorry. You should be doing this. And I'm like, that still doesn't make any sense. Did you read what the issue is? And then they said they escalated it to a higher tech support tier, and since then they've basically been on the ball. They haven't fixed it. It's been like two months. But they at least know what the issue is and occasionally reach out to me about it. Noi is in a VC. I can get in a VC at some point. So yeah, to any of my subscribers on Discord, that's why you don't have your toast emotes. <laughs> Something broke, I don't know what it is. I have been trying to fix it myself and nothing has worked, and Discord has not been helpful. Noi is a vice chair, he is a VC. done, enemy. You got me. I need to listen to that Tiny Tim album again. That probably sounds like it's coming out of nowhere. There's a Tiny Tim album, the only Tiny Tim album I've ever listened to, uh, with a song about a snake. It's called The Viper, and it's pretty funny. And that whole album is good, and it's been a while since I've listened to it. Give me that gem. The guy from Christmas Carol? No. No? Is it... You're absolutely right, Tiny Tim is that name, isn't it? Is Tiny Tim also the name of the musical artist? Am I crazy? Am I... Am I conflating names? I'm sorry, is there another guy somewhere? No, there's not. They're both correct. Okay, good. I've just never noticed that it's the same name. Nox leveled up. Let's go. I feel like there have been a number of level ups that I've just missed. Chat is hard to keep up with when there's 27 viewers. Jesus. I didn't realize so many people were watching. How do you level up? It's just chat interaction. If you're chatting, you get about four or five experience a minute, I think it is. And if you're not chatting, then you don't. Yeah, I think it's, um... You will be getting experience as long as you send at least one message every ten minutes. Yeah, TK. Really? 
real homies lurk? It's true. Oh god, I shouldn't have stopped. Also, this fight is one of the actually hard things about playing Sparksless. <clears throat> Crud. No, no, stop it. Stop it. Get out of here. Stop fixing yourself. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> if I didn't miss that one last shot, I would have gotten him. There we go. Okay. I did delete Miku, yeah. Yeah, I got sick of the way that the Miku devs were jerks. So I just got rid of it. I got rid of it once Beepo Boopot was up and ready to replace it. Oh, I need that. Damn, levels are evolving. <laughs> um, I don't trust what I just did. I'm sorry, did I miss a gem down here? No, I got everything. Okay, good. I know there's 25 gems in this side area, but I didn't think to check my count before I came in. That is the only gem count that I know in this entire game. That's it. We didn't miss a gem again. Let's go. It would be a lot to memorize, yeah. <clears throat> this is actually not a bad pace. Gonna be like around 50 minutes coming out of Buzz, assuming I don't completely screw up this fight. <laughs> so, normally, Buzz, like, Buzz saws around the arena to get you. But if you're near the edge like this, when Buzz hits the edge, he just stops moving. And normally, for a few of these hits, when Buzz stops moving, he lifts up a flame wall. But, if the camera is off of Buzz, he doesn't do that. So we can just beat Buzz by doing this repeatedly. There's the gem on the loading screen. It's depressing. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. No, I need that. <laughs> oh my goodness, please. <laughs> this is 2,500 total, so we didn't miss a single gem in Sunrise. Yay! Now, some of you are probably gonna ask, Hey Toaster, you're playing as Sparks right now. I thought this was a Sparksless run. What's up with that? And to you I say, you're not funny. Stop it. Uh, as an actual answer, the cheat that I'm using to remove sparks... Uh, his name is Craig. Yeah, that's the answer. This is a Greg level. No, the cheat that we use to remove sparks locks Spyro's health value at zero, and that's all it does. 
So anywhere that you have a health bar, your health works as normal. Now you see, a bunch of people are coming in, thinking they're funny by saying this now that I've already, like, called them out on it. Would you believe I normally get this many comments about it anyway? This isn't just because I preemptively said something. <laughs> this always happens. <laughs> right, I get another green butterfly. I need to remember that I can freely use them early in the level, these shots. I do like the Sparks levels, actually. I have fun with these. <laughs> Dang, DZ, you got me. Also, I did this main room, like, completely wrong. <laughs> I guess I didn't lose too much time over it, but it could have been better. I just went around the room in wrong directions. So in general, the way Sparks levels work, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, you get like power-up butterflies, those are the colored butterflies. The one that I've picked up has this like spread shot. But if you just mash it instead of hold it, it just gives you a rapid fire attack. And it's basically the only good one. <laughs> Greg levels, yes, I'm sorry. The Greg levels. And 95, yep, okay. So this is the last gem. That is sub hour sunrise. Dang. This is really not a bad start. <clears throat> okay, hey Jenny, do you remember that like art game that we had with the really cool music? Thinking things? Maybe. Send me a link to it so I can see it, and I'll let you know if it's the one I was thinking of. That I was thinking of. Ha 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 ha. Dino Park Tycoon, I remember that one. Vaguely. Not much. I don't remember any of the games well, except Load Runner and Incredible Machine. Every other one I just remember, like, vaguely. Yes, it was totally thinking things. Give me that. Which actually, in retrospect, I find it funny that I remember Load Runner so well, considering the N devs have said a number of times that they took big inspiration from Load Runner.
So, this level stinks. It's really hard. Just like, it's really hard not to die. And it's so easy to miss a gem somewhere. Even in normal runs, this level stinks. Also, bird's rockets are terrible. Sometimes they'll just, like, shoot through a wall. Okay, but I wanted to hit that. Actually, you know what? No, I don't want to hit that door. I want to collect these first. So that I can hit the door and then immediately collect the gem inside. I need that now. Before I come back through here with bombs. <clears throat> have a good one, Nox. Glad to have you hanging out. Hope you have a good dinner. Who is my least favorite Spyro sidekick? Um... In Sparks List, I think I gotta go with Bird. Oh god. Oh god. That's not... Oh god. Hold on. Ugh. Okay, good. In normal gameplay, I don't mind Bird at all. I actually enjoy playing as Bird. I think it's fun to fly around and have sparks. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Ooh. Ooh. I need to die to pick up that gem. I, I actually can't get it without dying. Yeah. Have a good one, Piper. <sighs> anyway. Um... So yeah, Sparks list, it's gotta be Bird. Normally, maybe Agent 9? I'm also not a big fan of Agent 9 Sparks list. The zigzagging is fun, but it's kind of lost its novelty to me. Bentley is slow, but I don't mind that. Come on. Normally in a 117 run, you would leave a bunch of these gems for when you pass through this room later. But as I've said, I will be carrying bombs later, and you can't pick up gems while you're holding something as bird. So I need to get all of them now. Come on, get the get the thing that you're directly facing, please. I'm gonna try to do something really fancy, but it's probably not gonna work. But we'll see, I guess. Ooh, that pushed me down. Okay, whatever, I can get that later. So, this other balloon that's left is directly above some lava. And as you saw, if I need to pick up a gem from lava, I have to die to get it. However, gems, when they land, they kind of bounce. Oh, let's go, I did it! I caught it! <laughs> so you can catch that while it falls. Pro Gamer. That's me. Zandot Oster. Pro Gamer. Uh, I should just drop those.
Uh, yeah, and then gems drop down here. Good. Okay, so you can mostly just fly above these, but you can't do it with this one, I think was the one that burned me. Uh, maybe it was this one, actually. I don't know. I don't... I don't trust anything anymore, though. Okay, good. Good, good, good. And I got everything over there. And I'm gonna need to get this... This guy. And I think there's probably a guy over there. Maybe I got the other one, actually. The other Rhinoc that's here. Might have... Yeah, I might have gotten him when I was aiming at the other flying one. Just gonna pick up this extra life just to have it. Okay. <clears throat> Let those all pop out. Grab all of these. And that should... And this one. And that should be everything over here. Everything? Is that everything? That was from the balloon. The other one I would have got. Yeah, I think that's everything over here. I should be good to go go backwards now. Okay, and hopefully all the rest of the gems should be in this room. We can hope. Nice! Oh, that is a relief. That is a big relief. I think that may be the worst level to miss a gem in. Do I have the old computer? Yes. You have mentioned before that you would like it, and I am happy to hand it over to you at any time. Uh, no, they only gave me the computer. I don't know where any of the CD-ROMs are. I feel similarly. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm good. That's it. They better not have. that. And that. Come on.
My phone is buzzing a lot right now. <laughs> Thank you, Koba team. Pretty happy with how it's going so far. There we go. Okay, I'm... I've gotten pretty good about getting all of the gems here. I'm not... Hello. I'm not too worried about missing one here anymore. Cobatine TV, thank you for the raid. <laughs> I need these. I say I've gotten pretty good about not missing gems. I say right as I start just ignoring gems. Oh, gosh, I can get that other one later. It's fine, it's fine. two gems later. I should leave them for now. Make sure the guy gets through. Uh, yeah. No, I don't trust myself. Sure, I'll take that. Playing a bit of Sparrow. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> you too. Have a good new year. I don't think he even goes through that. Oh, that's fine. I can get those gems later. Go around here. I like it too is from You Don't Know Jack, really? <laughs> I guess I never did play that much. Okay, and this should be the last of the gems here. I think I went and got everything else. Gosh, I really hope I did. Did I? I'm pretty sure I did.
Did I get everything over here? I... Yeah, I did. I did. I felt like I had missed something, but... No, I think I got it all. Nice. Very nice. I still haven't watched it. I will at some point. I was a little reluctant at first, given the clickbaitiness of the title, but... It is the Rixer, I know he makes good videos. actually got both of those in a line. <laughs> Usually I try to get those two baskets and end up missing one of them.
The enemies in this section are actually a little bit hard to dodge as Bentley. Their range just goes so far. And sometimes they attack really quickly. It is a minor annoyance when playing normally, but, uh... Yeah, in Sparksless it's kinda awful. second. Perfect. Come on. <laughs> Give me the gem. Uh, yeah, this one and the Rhinoc. Actually caught that. Nice. Please. Okay. And yes, that is everything. Last gem? Last gem. Pog champ. <sighs> almost, almost. <laughs> I got one of them. One of the, the high up ones. I'm not usually really good at doing that, but it sounded like I got one of them. So I think I got the one on the... I got both of them! Oh my god, let's go! We saved time on that! I've never done that before. <laughs> is this game as busted as it is in Reignited? It's... yeah, kinda. It's busted in different ways, but yes.
Reignited is busted in a lot of ways where your game might crash, uh, just playing it normally. This is busted in a lot of fun ways if you know what you're doing. So, with that Bamboo Terrace boat challenge, the challenge ends when you get all of the Rhinox. Uh, but the Rhinox that, like, fly down from the sky are already there early on. They're just invisible. And so if you know where they are, you can aim at them early. Which is, like, a, a fancy thing you can do to save a bunch of time there. But it's really hard, and I've never actually gotten more than one before. I'm sorry, what? Cow? Crud. Nope, point down. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. The way I kind of see it is with the original games, Spyro 2 uh, has the glitch that lets you jump really high, and because of that you can go basically wherever you want in Spyro 2 at any time. And so a lot of people see Spyro 2 as being the glitchiest of these games, but I think in terms of the sheer number of glitches, Spyro 3 is the glitchiest of the three. It's just that Spyro 2, the effects are obvious because of the magnitude of a few of them. <laughs> Yeah, 2 for the most part is pretty solid. There's just a few things about it that crack it wide open. <laughs> also, what's up, Faulty? Hope you're doing well. Waiting for the year to be over. Same. Oop. I always forget about that second ring before turning there. can't make a perfect risotto in Spyro 2. It's true. That's a Spyro 3 only thing. Shamp! Thanks, Nuke. You can make turtle soup in Sparrow 2, that's true.
I'm pretty happy with how this uh, this 117 is going so far. Where Hunter? Where Mike? Where Mike? Where Hunter? What am I saying? That would be nonsense. Not like where Mike, which makes complete sense, obviously. I don't know when I should get these baskets. I have no idea when I should get them. I should figure that out sometime. Maybe I should do them going into the Sparks level. When you're approaching the stairs from that angle, that might not be a bad idea. The Greg level. Sorry. Excuse me, floaty guy? Did I get all the ones in here? I didn't. No, I- yeah, I didn't. Okay. I thought there was another one. Glad I checked. Nice! <laughs> I swear that jump would have worked in Spyro 1. Really? Oh, God damn it! I was trying to bait him for so long, I figured I had to get closer, but... No, I, I just got outplayed, didn't I? That's really all there is to it. Sound warning, this gets loud. No! God, I hate those enemies. They blocked my flame like three times. Also, these enemies kind of stink to flame. Oh, right, the other one. It's like, where's the other explosion? Where is the kaboom? There's supposed to be a kaboom. Get out of here. You're not welcome here, jackhammer guy. No! Why? It's fine. That's fine. This is why I've been picking up, like, every life I see, by the way. It's exactly because of this. Get out! There. It's so easy to just lose, like, six lives in one spot. Something bothering my throat. Whoa. 
I already finished that cup of water I got. Alright! I didn't actually want to get that, dang it. <laughs> it's a lot easier to get the gems up there if you're just on foot. But oh well. Sure. another one down here, I forgot. I'm pretty sure these two should be the last ones in here. I think, I think they are. Do you ever feel like speedrunning is a little bit like the movie Groundhog Day? I don't know why I've never thought of that comparison before. Spyro grows up to his friend Hunter and is like, hey, I've never learned how to skateboard before. And then like, within a minute is just doing tricks all around him. Because of course he has, because Spyro has skateboarded before, because Spyro's been living the same life for hundreds of cycles. Should probably watch Groundhog Day. It's pretty good. It's not the best Bill Murray film I've seen, but it's good. I'm missing so many of these. Oh, don't fall in there. Oh, I did that again. Dang it. <sighs> Fine, I'll get that later. And I'll get that later, too. God damn it. Ideally, I would want to have gotten all of those gems in that pass. But I guess I'm saving three of them for after this. I 
I mean, I really liked Life Aquatic. But I guess if you're not a big Wes Anderson fan, then, uh... Then that might not do it for you. And why is it Stripes? Stripes is only okay. That was silly of me. Hold on. Really? This jump never ceases to upset me. I thought I had this down. There it is. I don't know, Stripes was okay. <laughs> I wasn't super into it. I mean, Ghostbusters is better than all of those. I just really liked Life Aquatic. Do I need to... yeah, I guess I need to be near the guy. Yeah, that's what I thought. and his awful, awful homing missiles. What? Wait, what hit that? Did I, like, deload one of my missiles and then reload it in time to hit that? Homing missiles. <laughs> It went right past its head. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot one of the dinos. I'm sorry. One second. Gosh, I really hope I don't game over four times at the end of the game again. <laughs> I died a lot in my PB from the other day.
Excellent. Dang it, I didn't want to charge into that. Okay. Almost through midday. to hit that uh, that box by the thing but oh well but hit what oh my god amazing okay honestly impressed I missed that burn so many times Oh, hey, Muzz. I've been watching a show recently that Golf told me you like. The British show Taskmaster? I started... I forget if I had talked to you about it at all yet, but uh, I've been watching a lot of it. That show is really good. I... Missed both of those. <laughs> Dang it. I needed to hit like either one of them. Oh my god. That I was watching a bunch of individual bits from it on YouTube, but uh, then I found out James A. Caster was on a season and he is hilarious. I think that's series 7, right? So that's that's the one I've been watching. <laughs> I hadn't heard of him until his Netflix series, Repertoire, and oh my god, that's one of the best comedy series I've ever seen. <laughs> so yeah, I was really happy to see him doing this. Also, I don't usually die this many times here, this is a little upsetting. <laughs> like, this is a hard level in Sparksless for sure, but... This is... A little embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, just attack. You can do it. Fine. Oh, I got it. Nice. Uh, I guess here first, because that's what I'm already looking at.
I did watch Middle Ditch and Schwartz. I liked it a lot. On you. There you go. God damn it. I saw two birds, and I just kind of aimed in the middle of them. <laughs> I should have known that that wouldn't hit either of them, but that's where my brain went. That. Okay, good. <laughs> saw a ten bounce off the cliff there. <laughs> Wanted to make sure it actually collected, but I saw it... Uh... I saw my counter go up. I have not seen it, Muzz. Although I don't know that I'm going to pick up anything else anytime soon until I have watched the rest of Taskmaster. <laughs> John leveled up. Good work, John. Dan, thank you for the raid. Spar's gonna hide now. You can't see him. It's not allowed. How's it going, Dan? No? White Hunter, very good. White Hunter, very good. Not need to head bash there, I don't know why I did.
Good. Good. Dang. I have no idea how to get those, uh, two baskets and the gem cleanly. Everything? Good. <clears throat> I haven't missed a single gem so far. Nice. S3 is going great. I'm surprised, actually. I had some really annoying deaths in Enchanted, but that's about it. Oh, this part's gonna be hard, though. <laughs> Speaking of deaths... It's time to fight the hardest boss. bird. Why did you drop it so close to him? There we go. Oh! Thank you, bird. I no longer hate you. <sighs> he led that shot so well. Okay, good. That went about as well as it possibly can. <laughs> See, and now would be a good time to have gotten those baskets. I will try to remember that in future Spyro runs. And that is all of the gems here as well. Good, good, good. Yeah, you start on no health, but you can then regain health. Yeah, no, it's not bad at all. Starfish Reef is a little something, but, uh... But every other Sparks level is not very hard at all. Sure, it would go even better if I remembered what good routes were. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Fine. That's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh god. Oh god. Oh 
Oh god. I probably could have played this a little bit better. <laughs> Gonna be honest, Yofarnia. Um, yeah, I think I got everything. And I should end this level with 60. Really? Come on. <laughs> 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I got everything. Cool. What is this farce? This mockery of sparkslessness? Not quite sub to midday, but I'm still pretty happy with this. Getting through midday without missing any gems makes me happy. Okay, I want to go left at the start of this homeworld, not right. <laughs> I should. As soon as someone asks about a Sparks level, I time them out for five hours. Believers. <laughs> I hope that gem landed up here. Good. Oh. Get up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm ending on Bone Dance. <laughs> As I always do. Fine. I can get, like, all of those later. that soon, though. Give me the gem, Spyro. <laughs> oh my god. I need that now, too. Oh my god. Completely ruined the timing on this. Actually, that's fine. Well, I submit this as a bone dance time? I can't. It's a cheated run. I'm playing with a hack. That's the only reason I won't. <laughs> I'll get that guy later. I just bought some Insta Sprout Ultra Super Grow seeds from a bear with a bag of cannabis. He said they were magic. I can't make them do anything. You can have a couple of slides. Aha! I'm so smart and not an idiot. <laughs> oh, now I won't get up here again. Oh no, so I can try. Okay, that's not that bad. No! Get. Mm. Thank you. Didn't know you could proxy with those. 
I, I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> um. Huh. How about that? Can somebody clip that? I, uh. I'd like to look at that later. There's not anything else here, right? There's a five right there, dummy. I also spat this at the wrong spot. So much easier to just do that. I'm dumb. Never mind. I need to get better at spin jumps anyway. You know what? That's all it is. There we go. Come on, Spyro! <laughs> there you go. I can't stand their crud. <laughs> oh my god. Completely forgetting my route for this section. Thank you, Noi and Farn. Completely forgetting my route and completely failing to jump on a mushroom. just want to jump up here so I can glide here. <laughs> There's a much faster way to get that gem, but I'm bad at it, so... I hate that guy so much. So much. I think it's just these three gems, right? Yeah. I don't like that that guy can shoot you before you can reach him. I wasn't trying to get that guy, dang it. <laughs> That's not the route. Oh, <sighs> it's not a huge deal. That's just not fast. And <laughs> then close the window without copying the link. Nice. I just wanted to get this guy.
completely off aim. Nice. That should be close enough. Uh, and I'm gonna just get a little distance here so that this guy doesn't. I did. I wasn't trying to hit that. I just wanted to hit the Rhinoc. <laughs> What? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> there are two levels in this game that have mystery jars, and I managed to die on one of them. <laughs> Oh, nice. Now this guy's gonna kill me as I approach. Ooh, I almost didn't get a flame out, but we're good, we're good. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. You know what, that's fine. We recovered from it fast enough. Crud. Crud. <laughs> oh, God damn it. And I still didn't get it! I need to work on this speedway. Kind of a lot, actually. There we go. Where's the, uh... Where's other bear? There it is.
Paul Trades, Master of Gun. Yes. Oh, right. I... I meant to use that, uh... That star. How does this boat have so much lift at this speed? That's Hunter just, like, jerking it up with his arms. Hunter is, after all, a very good athlete. Um, I don't remember the route. Hold on. I'm supposed to get this stuff first. The higher up stuff first. Then I go down. Get this five that I missed that other time. Get these ground gems. That's all of the ground gems, isn't it? And then go in the whale. And then I don't pause and exit game. Because I'm not stupid. Today. And then... That was the wrong one. I was just supposed to swing over and get that green gem. And then that blue that I already got I was supposed to get now. 
and then I carry on over to Lost Fleet. That's right. That's the route. Mike Wodowaski? I don't think I get that one, Noi. What are you talking about? Watoast key? Right. I think people usually just call it Toast Wazowski. And I can't find a way to make it look good. So, no, I haven't done it. Really? Come on. There we go. Good. Oh, wait, no, I still need more. I need so much more on here. Words are hard, you're sleepy. Fair. I kind of wish I had hit that crab just now, because it's going to gonna come clipping at me if I don't. Almost, almost. There we go. I just realized that that's kind of a spin jump that I'm supposed to be doing there. <laughs> it's the turning that gives me the speed to go up. I don't know how I ever managed to do this without consciously thinking about that. Crab standing in the invincibility as if it's gonna help. Haha, -ha, chump. No, I need that, like, right now. There we go. I accidentally going through the portal? Ugh. Tuper glowy eyes. don't actually want to be charging that yet. Okay, I don't know why that was locked on, but I'll take it. What? Mm. These subs. Sometimes the sub-snipes aren't too bad. If they're moving predictably, which not all of them do. I mean, I guess if you know their paths, they do, but... <laughs> and other times I'm just bad and can't do it. There we go. You think you're real sneaky, don't you, submarine? Not today. I really need to learn, like, any kind of a route for this. I know you can get a few really, really quick kills on these subs. I'm sure you could do this in like a third of the time it takes me. Hey Bagel. Bagel, your egg is coming up soon.
Good. Is there one up here? There's two up here. Good. Good, good. Hey, Nitroff. Craig egg soon. Nitroff. I learned that you can proxy off of the flowers in the Jack segment during this run. I didn't know that was a thing before now. Was that used in the 117 test? It's been a while since I've watched it. Yes, neat. I should really see that again sometime, now that I'm not trash at this game. Um... Ooh. Am I gonna make this? I'm definitely not making it back to the start, so I think I... Oh. Yeah, I am making it. Never mind. <laughs> I sure hope that was everything down there. I think I got all of them. If I'm missing a gem, I know where to check first. Okay, sure. I'll get that guy later. It doesn't matter. You did, Craig. Now you need to just not leave. There we go. Good. Craig Egg! Congrats, Craig, your very own egg. Oh, I went right over that gem. <laughs> the Craig, if you will. Bonk. I imagine it probably helps more if I say don't bonk before I bonk, instead of right after it happens. Like, if saying don't bonk is going to have any effect, that's when it would need to happen. <laughs> Surprised I hit that, gonna be honest. I have no idea where to aim for this. That's too far. That's way too far. Oh, and I have no idea where it turns around. That's still too far. That's better. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got all of them. Not 
Nice. Nice. Oh. Let's turn in the correct direction here. Were there any other loose gems up here? No. Okay. It's not 100% sure, that's true. It could happen. I'm just gonna get that now and this one now before I forget about them. <clears throat> that's not, that's not the trick, but I got a whole bunch of spins, so maybe, <laughs> maybe it makes up for not remotely getting the trick. Okay, so there's still a, a fly, a fly of, I was gonna say blue and five, there's still a blue in there. Uh, I do everything in this game with D-pad. My controller does not have analog sticks on it. Right, that red gem at the start of that ledge is also kind of a pain to get. I need to I need to watch out for that. Oops. Rats. Oh well. It's not the biggest deal if I need to uh do an extra lap at the end. Of all the things that can go wrong in a sparksless run for me. <laughs> I'm not too worried about this. Oh, there we go. Nice. And this green. Very good. Yes. Okay, I do still need this one. There we go. I still need a bunch of gems over here, because I just haven't really been down here much. I missed one of the gems over here. Good. <laughs> nice. Yo, Hunter. There's one more over here. I think I got all the ones over here. Yeah, I did. Oh, I missed that one, but now I have it. Uh... Uh... <laughs> I thought that was all of them. Got that. Got all of those. That's unfortunate, but... Yeah. Guess I missed one in subs. Or that would be my guess. I... <laughs> it could be anywhere. I don't know, Nitroff. I have no idea. Um, let's just run around for a minute here. I got this one, I know. I got all of those up there. I'm pretty sure I got all of the ones under the acid. Appear to have. I, I know I did, actually. I don't need to check that. 
I know I got all the ones out there. I feel some degree of confidence that I got all of the enemies. Yeah, I'm gonna go check subs. That's a very low jump. Yeah, this level's rough to, uh, to miss a gem in. I like this level, all in all. Okay, it's not down here. Should have sparks point at it. Thanks. I'll go get a fodder and see if I can spot it in the one frame that I have sparks. Would be like shining along around here. Yeah, no, I guess I got everything here. That's a good question. What am I missing? Did I dupe a gem again? No, I'm missing a five. Did I somehow miss one of the ones on the ship? Did I think I hit all of the birds, but I missed one of the birds? No, I don't see any birds still around. Birds are always green, good to know. Got all of those. And this is back here again. Did I somehow miss one of the ones in the water that I am so certain that I got all of? Because I know there are a few blues at the end here. No, I got all of those. The tunnel at the end of the race... I'm pretty sure I got them. The five gem at the egg. Yes. I wish I was better at climbing the wall, but I'm not, so oh well. Look at Spyro wag his little tail. He's adorable. There is one there. Dang it. I have bad eyes, I guess. I went through there multiple times trying to check how many gems there were, and I came up with two both times. Oh well. Good call on that, Nitroff. Oh, I mean... I probably would have gone the same way anyway, because I... It's usually much more likely that I missed a gem on the lower path. Yep, I'll definitely remember it next time. See, messing up the mystery jar in Charmed Ridge suddenly doesn't feel like such a big mistake now, does it?
Um, wait. Oh, God damn it! No, turn around. Just... You get out of here. Just turn around, man. No, stop it. Just... Yeah. Yeah. It's better. <laughs> Oh, if you charge past it, you can make it lose you. That's good to know. Are there only three guys in there? I thought there were four in there for some reason. I was even practicing this level the other day, I don't know why I have that wrong in my head. Oh! Okay. I'll take it. I usually get that green. Oh well. Okay, now for one of the hardest sections in all of Sparkslessness. Don't fall in the lava. Don't fall in the- God damn it! Gimme! There. No, just the enemies in this level, in general, are really tough. That's why this section is so hard for me. It's just concentrated, difficult enemies. I... where are you? There you are. I don't know why I'm running in here already. There's another gem I need to get. Do the melee ninjas dodge fire attacks? Yes, and it's a pain. Why... Why did I try to flame that? <laughs> they, like, back up and hit you if you try to flame them. Yeah, I should have figured that would happen. I... Mm. Hold on. Got a rocket right here. Giving up. I did not get that yet. <sighs> yeah, I mean... You can flame charge them. I stopped because I kept trying to and it kept causing me to die, but you can. You definitely can. Oh, wait. Sorry, hold on. I need to actually, like, stand up and position myself to do this. My PS1 isn't right next to me, so I actually have to, like, reach over to it for this. Nice.
Hey, Stu. I mean, it's a really easy Sproder. It was also the only way that I knew how to do it. I mean, not the only way. Obviously, obviously not doing it is a very easy thing to figure out. I just mean when I learned how to do this. I was watching you do that, so... Uh, I know of it. I remember that it's a thing I don't remember much else. Do I just mash through the text real fast? I remembered seeing in the, uh, the S3 Discord, or the 117 Discord, that, uh, in looking through old posts about it, that it does save time in that part. But I don't remember the details. Is there a sparksless bug at the end of this? What do you mean? I got that, right? Yeah, I did. I... dang it. A bug run without sparks. No. I, I don't think there is. Not this time. Got everything in this room, right? I did. I definitely did. I gotta stop second-guessing myself. Just move. Get out of there. Get out of there and turn around. Oh, I did get it. Neat. Uh, these, though, I'm less sure about. Looks like I did get those, though. Good. Oh my god, Spyro. <laughs> Thank you. I probably should have read what you had written before I got there, Nitrov. <laughs> ah, true. Okay, good. No! <laughs> Crud. Stop! You dang dragons! I don't know why I'm collecting any of these. I only know one order to get these gems in. I don't want to mess that up. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I've had better, I've had worse. I've had much worse. <laughs> I 
really know... I don't have a route for the last gems in this level. I should probably get one sometime. Because I just kind of go all over. I know where they are, basically, but I don't have a plan for them. I am really happy that I spent time practicing Fireworks Factory. <laughs> that level can be such a pain, Sparksless. But it is much easier for me now. Stewart! There is a stew egg in this. I thought there was. That one red on top of Frozen Altars, I have no idea when to get that. Before the Sparks level, I guess? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> if I miss this once, I'll just... Oh, that's super low, actually. Crud. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll just go by. <sighs> I'm lying. I want to get this. This isn't hard. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go by Bentley. Could have made it with hover. I'm never sure when to hover with that. I always worry that I do it too early and ruin what would have been a good attempt. Just reset, true. I forget if I got that in my PB. Also, Bentley is my favorite Spyro sidekick to play Sparksless. <laughs> because he's so big, it's so easy to walk into gems, I love it. Most of the time, gems pop out of chests and just go right into you, it's great. <laughs> What's the worst? Bird. Easily bird. Bird can't collect gems if he's carrying anything. Or flying. Also, if you're zigzagging as Agent 9 and you pick up gems, you feel like a god. <laughs> Even if it's completely by accident. Which it always is. extra life here because I need all of the extra lives that I can get. I mean, the nice thing about Sparksless Bird is you barely have to play as Sergeant Bird in this game. 
There's the molten crater section, which sucks. There's birds entire level, which sucks. But enchanted towers, you're not on the ground very much. You're mostly shooting things. And walking around as bird is fine. And you don't have to carry anything in enchanted. I'm not supposed to be getting any of these yet, but here I am. And then there's the charm bridge thing where you don't have to collect gems. Waddling around, sure. So yeah, bird is the worst, but at least you barely have to do it. I like bird in normal 117. I think flying around while Sparks zips around and picks up stuff for you is fun. Dang it. Yeah, okay. I think needing to find gems as bird kinda stinks. That's not fun. Missing a gem in bird's level feels awful. But yeah, once you know where everything is, uh, I think it's fun. Just about to pass the three hour mark on this run. I have no idea what kind of pace this is. This, except for the gem in Lost Fleet, this has mostly been a pretty good run. But also, the end game is most of what is a problem for me in this still, so. Like, in my, in my Sparksless 117 PB, I think I game over like four times in Midnight Mountain. Nope. Do I know that roasted corn is epic? You know, I didn't know that, but it doesn't surprise me. What did you do to roast it? I probably felt it deep within, true. Just gonna play those real safe. I have charged off of that building enough times to not want to deal with that again. <laughs> Pepsi insulted it endless later roasted. <laughs> nice. Microwaved corn, really? I'm gonna be honest, John, I would not have guessed. Is it really that good? Oh my god. Uh, that's bug oh no, bagel. John, leave. Listen, I'm willing to give John the benefit of the doubt on a lot of food opinions.
So I have heard if you have like full cobs unshucked, microwaving is a good way to get the 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 leaves off of it. But uh like microwaving as the full method of cooking? I don't think I've done that before. I'll have to try that sometime, John. I've been actually making myself cook a lot more lately. And I think it's been good. Not like cooking anything fancy or good, but like... Just as opposed to ordering fast food or sticking a frozen meal in the microwave. So yeah, I should try that sometime. Let me win! Let me get around one, please. Fine. <clears throat> Gonna try everything in the produce aisle. Nice. That is a good goal. Yeah, I think part of the thing with me about making goals for 2022 is that there are a lot of self-improvement things that I have already started on in the last, like, couple of months. Oh my god. Yeti, please. That's better. Um. Or things that I've been trying to do, and I do successfully do for, like, a month at a time, and then stopping for a long time. But yeah, it just feels weird to think of them as 2022 goals, since they're just goals that I have all the time anyway. Sorry, is there a gem on those stairs? There's not. Okay. Come on. Thanks for helping us. Hey, Fate. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I did pasta today. Nice. Get the one cat. Just focus on one cat at a time. That really didn't go in? Really? <laughs> Come on. No, no, stop. Oh, God, I bumped it. I bumped it again. Stop it. Oh, God. No, no. <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly got so bad at this. I swear I used to be better at cat hockey. One of those cats is very stuck. I'm really not, Craig. No, it... Oh, whatever. 
this isn't even like a sparksless problem, it's true. I'm just really bad at it suddenly. I love cat hockey. That's always been one of my favorite challenges in this game. <laughs> and at some point I just became trash at it. I think that's all the ones down there. Stop charging along there, toaster. That happens every time I try to do that, and I just keep doing it anyway. Um, the bird NPCs you talk to in that level are voiced by Tom Kenny. And I love his voice for them. I love it so much. Those are my favorite NPCs in the series. Sounds so good. Microwave too good for corn. This might be Dang. Grilled corn is really good, to be fair. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, okay, it does make sense to get that gem then. That does feel alright. What? Wait. That's so many gems I'm missing. Wait. What did I do? Wait. <laughs> uh. Did I. No, because there's nothing in here. I'm missing like 30 gems. What did I do? Oh, I thought I got these. I could have sworn I got these before the level. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> At least I found those way faster than I found the 5 gem I missed in my PB. Right. Yeah. John, I'm open to it. I'm open to trying microwaved corn. 
I think anyone who's actually complaining about it right now is wrong. Come on. The start of this level is not this hard. In this stream, we are a big believers in the philosophy of don't knock it till you try it. Hey, wrenched. Just like kissing boys. Sure. I'm willing to put those in the same category. in chat. Oh my god, hit the thing. <laughs> Thank you. This room. Uh, yeah, no, there's no other gems in here. go up first so that I'm not directly in the mantis path, but whatever. Getting a phone call from an unknown number, so I'm not answering it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. to turn into the great food fight of 2021 right at the end of the year too. Give me a life. Dang. Muzz doesn't seem to be on that page. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. No! Oh. 
That thief doesn't matter at all, but it bothers me that I can't get the quick kill on it anymore. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting all of these this way. I don't usually, but here I am. Hopefully I don't fail this fight again. I died on this fight in my PB, which was kind of painful. Hey, could somebody do some math for me and tell me what my time needs to be on the timer to beat my 448 Sparksless 117 PB? Four forty eight plus one forty seven. Okay, sure. Six twenty five. Four forty eight. Oh, no. That sounds about right. Okay. The rest of Midnight Mountain plus SBR in an hour and a half. I might be able to beat that. We'll. God damn this fight. We'll see. Oh, sorceress. This fight is really hard when you can't take damage. I don't know if you guys knew that. Oh, he did drop a cannon. Agent 9. God damn it, stop dropping sheep. Sure. I will actually gladly take a UFO. It is way easier for me to dodge shots on a UFO than on a tank. Oh, god damn it. Dark Passage emote? Why? <laughs> oh wait, no, I think I do remember some discussion happening around that. Uh, I got those gems already, yeah. Nope, I want that. Chicken is so bland. What? Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Seriously. God. 
I really need to learn the Out of Bounds in this section. I don't know why I can't get it. No, I needed that! Oh, and I need to shoot this. Oh, and I missed! Of course I missed. The time that I actually remember that I need to get that thing, I just completely fail to get it. Crud. need these. I do need this also, dummy. <laughs> this is the worst Bugbot factory I've ever had, I swear. This level is so easy, I don't even know what's happening. Really? Come on. Still have not managed to hit that blind. These eggs are usually gotten after the level, but whatever, I'm here already.
At one named Lucas, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Master of this skip, Lucas. <laughs> I actually might have just been pointing myself way too inwards and, like, losing all height. Oh my god. Oh my god. I also have so much trouble just getting on it. There we go. Golf. It's actually going pretty good. Spyro 1 went well, Spyro 3 is going well. I'm happy with things. Spyro 2 is going to be a nightmare, but we're not there yet, so I can pretend that doesn't exist yet. I'm just gonna get that first, actually. What? Oh, camera. Oh, new season in Forza today. Nice. Oh, I hope you have fun. Piper! Piper, thank you for the raid. Oh my god, slow down, slow down. There we go. I like the Manta controls, but I wish there was a brakes button. I even have fun collecting gems sparksless on the Manta. I think it's fun. It just stinks that if you need to, like, stop to get onto something, you, you really need to just, like, go around for it. What were you up to, Piper? Mario Kaizo, fun. Um, yeah, I guess it's just the ones kind of near the front now. I think I got everything else. Come on. Did I get... Oh, I didn't get any of these. Oh my god, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> there. Uh, yeah, that's a sea bead. Okay, cool. I think I got everything in here. Now for the worst group of enemies in the game. A group that I'm still not really sure how to handle. I'm just gonna, yeah, go hide. Because it's this, right next to this, right next to those guys will attack you. And if I don't take it super slow like that, I have no idea how to get those coming down. Is that everything in here? Yeah, it was, it was.
Yeah, it's so funny how Spyro 1 and 2 are almost entirely just about learning gem locations uh, so you can, you know, be really sure you get everything as you're going through the game. And then Spyro 3 is just so hard to play. <laughs> There are so many spots that can kill you really easily and really quickly. I'll get that basket later. gonna say, this is a sheep-friendly stream. Would thank you all to not be talking about eating lamb. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you- oh my god. That- that was my fault. I should have done that better. Hold on. I'm getting in my own head with this. I swear this isn't a hard section. Nope, that was a bad idea. I'd like some food too. But sadly, that won't be for another like four hours. Muzz, that's like the opposite of a ban-worthy statement. goodness, please. Just wait. Just wait. Gonna be honest, this has become one of my least favorite levels in the run, and it has nothing to do with being sparksless. I just really don't like this level. I don't even mind Agent 
Are you serious? I don't even mind Agent 9 movement. I just don't enjoy playing this level. Being sparksless certainly makes it harder, but it really, like, emphasizes just how bad Agent 9's auto-aim is. This level is the reason you cry daily. It is really bad, you're not wrong. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I would enjoy it more when I get better at zigzagging, but like, I don't think that's gonna help much. <laughs> He has a little bit of auto-aim, it's just not enough. At least it's pretty short, ideally. Nope, I get it. <laughs> I am way too close, actually. That is on me. Okay, that was dumb. That last one was not on me. No, I said I am fine with his movement. I'm fine with his movement, it's the whole rest of this level I don't like. some other gems there that I hadn't gotten yet. No! No! Okay, good. That's a miss, but good. There we go.
Thanks, Golf. Have a good stream. Oh my god. There. I'm way too close, but... Nope, aim better. There you go. Cool. And we're done. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> That's never how I've started this level. I hate that octopus so much. If I hug the right wall, will I hit it? Yes. Okay. Just gotta remember that. I really should have spent more time practicing Midnight. So I did not spend enough here. The music, yeah. I like this one a lot, yeah. It is a really cool one. I always really liked all of the Midnight Mountain levels, actually. Where am I going? I need to swim. <laughs> wait, wait. There we go. <clears throat> no? There we go, that side. 
ass magicians in it. There's a good reason to like this level. For a second, I just kind of forgot that you can skip text. That's not a good start. Oh my god, this is going so bad. I'm gonna lose. I'm actually gonna lose this, aren't I? One of these doesn't break, and I don't remember which. Okay, good. Hey, you flame the thing. Thank you. <sighs> I don't know why that flame didn't connect. So he zapped me there, seriously? <laughs> I guess she did, didn't she? I flew right past her. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's everything in here, yep. Good view of Lloyd right there. Thanks, camera. Hey, remember when I had like 13 lives earlier and I was still collecting more? <laughs> I'm down to five. Lloyd Wazowski. Dang. That's two I've missed. 
As long as they're all higher up, it's not too bad. Like, if I can just get this last line, I'm pretty happy with this. Cool. Good, good. Haunted Tomb was a problem level last time. I remember that. Missed a gem here. Also, I think I... Are you serious? Where was my flame? <sighs> um... And also I game over it in tanks, is what I was gonna say. Nope. Okay, sure. That was a squeeze. A little bit. Oh my god, please. Please. <laughs> there. God, every time. <laughs> There's always one of these guys where I just forget. Forget that I need to answer a riddle. can zigzag along here to go even faster, but I'm not good at zigzagging, so I'm not going to try. Falling rock rooms get scary. Is that everything in there? I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was. Ooh. 
Is that a one up? I think it was. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah! They work together to get me. It was not a one up. Gosh. No. Why? One up, Zowski. Piper. God, I'm such a bad shot. It's right there. Yeah, fine. Good. Two more. You don't know why you thought you'd be awake at the end of this? I mean... To be fair, I originally thought I was going to start like two hours earlier than I did. Two, maybe even three. Oh, since I started? Yeah, I don't know then. So this five was the one I missed last time, so now I have that, that's good. That's fair. S2 is definitely going to take a while. Am I boss rushing? Yeah, and it's gonna be awful. Oh god, turn around.
I love when the bug does this. Love that bug. I don't know why I keep expecting there to be gems there. Um... Spyro, why? It was right there for you! Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, we're out of there. We're out of Haunted Tomb. <sighs> Need this. Just curious if I can get a one up there, but I guess not. There's, no, there's not anything out there. Brain, you know there's not. Come on. That one scared me, but we got through it. I've never really thought about it before. But Dino Mines is a level that I like a lot. But I don't think I could tell you how the song goes. I'm listening to it right now, and I don't think I could tell you how this song goes. It surprises me, usually... The soundtrack is, like, the best parts of a lot of levels in this for me. Even the levels that I like. That does not seem to be the case here. Oh my god. I missed all three of them. all three of them, and I missed two of them twice. <laughs> oh, Spyro. Thank you. 
Cats. I think I probably would too, honestly. There are a few that I definitely know. Spyro 1 is tough especially just because there are so many... Like, in Spyro 1, there's like... four or five... motifs that get used across like... 30 songs in the game. <laughs> Turn around. Don't look at him. Don't look at him, Spyro! <sighs> this is sad. I've mostly been pretty good at this level in my recent runs. I may have missed a uh, one of the cactus gems down there, actually. I guess I'll find out in a bit. Kiki. What am I doing? I go this way first. Did I know Sergeant Birds' first name is James? Yeah. When you talk to the fairy in Charmed Ridge, the first thing she says is, Where have you been, James? <gasps> what? Oh my god. Why? I had that. That is the first time I've failed this since I've been practicing Sparksless. Oh, that's really disappointing. Oh god. Okay, good. I'm gonna take this extra life. Even though it's slow. No! No! <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> I've 
said it many times. But the worst part of speedrunning is expectations. I don't mind dying a few times, but it stinks when I die on something that I expect to be easy. There we go. Okay. We're through it. Did not miss any gems. Okay, that's all of the main levels. Now we just have Harbor Speedway and Super Bonus Round.
I'm amazing at this game. I don't know if you guys knew that. <laughs> I was just about to make a comment about how I'm so happy that I don't have to worry about lives anymore. <laughs> I, I still have not taken the time to learn this route, so I'm just, I'm taking the normal path. Yeah, I remember struggling with the races as a kid. getting sleepy. Started closing my eyes a little bit during that race.
Okay. Coming up on the end here. No, oh, give me that. <laughs> really do. Why I went that way. It's way easier to catch the thief going in the other direction. Uh, I missed that. I think I got everything else there. Yeah. I like to go for quick shots much more than I probably should, considering I'm not actually any good at them. Except that one, because that one's kind of free when the enemy gets stuck like that. <sighs> okay. Here we are, the hardest part of Sparksless 117. I will, without a doubt, need to take extra laps on this. I was at full boost and that Yeti was moving faster than me. <laughs> this race. <laughs> I'd like to know who it was that finished making this race and then said, yeah, this is good. This is what we want. Oh, crud. Okay. That's fine. I'll need to just do a lot on a second pass, or else I'm just gonna lose the race. Haha. -ha. We have to ship in three days, just leave it in, honestly, probably. Yeah. 
I am just gonna do most of this off the board. I I don't feel like figuring this out on the skateboard right now. There are a few that I will get on the board for, but for the most part, yeah, for the most part I'll do it off. Gem. There you go. No, wait, ah, uh, whatever. That green gem is really evil, yeah. <laughs> I've managed to get it before. I know the one you're talking about. I've managed to get it before without sparks, but it's... It's rough. Crud. That should be it. I think that's it. We will see after I get the UFOs. Really? Hey. Oh my god, get the gem. <laughs> there we go. I also don't really have much of a plan for the UFOs, which is something I should probably work on. I know they have, like, distinct paths. So, like, you can see, like, oh, I have six UFOs. Well, which ones have I gotten? And good players will, like, actually know that. But I just, I look around until I get them. Which I am confident is not fast but it's the best I can do right now. There it is. Heck. Heck. Is it. There it is. Thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, I was so worried it was going to be in the skateboarding. Oh no. Ooh. Oh no, stop it. Stop it, sorceress, please. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. So let's 
let's see, that's 435.22, looks like. I'm gonna run to the bathroom before starting Spyro 2. <laughs> I'll be right back. So I do, I do wish I had gotten sub 430, because that would have beaten my 117 PB from a month ago. My normal 117 PB from a month ago, from before I started practicing this. But oh well. 435 is still really good. This one's really going to stink. I, um... I haven't really practiced Spyro 2 at all. I doubt I'm even going to beat my Sparks this Hundo PB. Just because I was at least in practice with Spyro 2 back when I did that. I don't think... Nice. I don't think I'm going to sub 3 in Spyro 2, but I do think I'm still pretty easily going to sub 10 on the... the 337. Which was my goal, so I'm really happy with this. I would need to really, really mess this up to not sub 10. <laughs> That's never how I've gotten these lamp posts. No way. Always level twenty. Let's go. Oh god. Uh, I'll get that later. Oh, there's no easy answer for that. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of this later, I guess. Crud. <laughs> Jeez. 
please. I can't just like jump up here, can I? I totally can. Good. No, get it. <laughs> Much better. I didn't want to talk to you. I was trying to get that gem. Oh, this whole game is going to be awful. <laughs> Oh my god. Really? That didn't connect. That surprises me. Try that again, I guess. There. I think I only got one of those. Yeah. One level down. Progress. Hey, Blunt. What was that, like a five minute glimmer? That's not too bad, right? Don't talk to me, Alora. Mm. Ah. Alora just trying to be friends. Spyro doesn't have any friends. What do you think happened to Sparks? They had a falling out. Spyro has trouble trusting now. I am on Spyro 2 now. I just started. Welcome back, Nox. Nah, I kind of wanted that, but oh well. I can get it on the way back. Oh, mm. okay, that worked. Sparks gave 
Steve trust problems too. Yeah. They have a complicated relationship. Basically kidnap Spyro to make him save the world again, and Spyro's just like, sure, let's go. I like this one a lot, yeah. God dang it. There. This fight is kind of hard sparksless. At the very least, it is much harder than it is. Oh my god. It's much harder than it is normally, but missing these hits is not because I'm sparksless, this is because I'm tired. There. These are not hard to time. It is silly that I missed those. Sheep. This next one is hard to time. I won't be upset if I miss this. Gosh, no! Mm. Yeah, yeah, okay. The nice thing is, boss rush is by far the hardest part of this run. Like, more so than it normally is. In Sparksless, this is miserable to get through. But once you're done, the rest of the game is a walk in the park. Should actually be hitting these just so that I can get extra lives eventually. There we go. Good. And then I don't hit him again. I let this fireball come out. I thought he only hit one! I thought he would only do one. I forgot how this fight goes. Oh well. Xanto Robster. Yeah. Okay. I think he's gonna do two fireballs? Good. Uh, it was too far. He's gonna go to the other pad. Uh, maybe he's on the left. It's hard to tell. No, it was too far. Dang it. No! Ow. Oh. It's fine. It's fine. Once we're through this, the rest of this run is a walk in the park. So much easier. That's what I'm gonna keep telling myself as I game over again and again and again. Maybe I should, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just go, double jump. He went away from me! What are you doing?! That was not gonna work, ever. Don't go to the middle. Don't go to the middle. <laughs> Please. Just go to your spot crush. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> I really should have practiced this game before doing this. I just, I really wanted to do this before the new year, and I kind of ran out of time. I spent all my time playing Spyro 3 instead, which honestly was probably a better choice. Oh, we're through Crush. Now, when I did do that one practice session of this in the last couple of weeks, I didn't get past gulp. I, I fought against gulp for a while and then just gave up. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Oh, I wanted that. 
Second try. Let's go. Oh, I bonked. You all saw that I bonked. I didn't need to comment on that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fine. <laughs> Here the dragon went really well, honestly. I got a sparksless PB in it. I only missed a couple of gems throughout the whole run, so I'm I'm happy with it. Nope, I need that. I guess I could have gotten that later, actually. I come back through here. First try. <laughs> yes, this is important for the run. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the history of Spyro 2 speedrunning. Uh, first of all, it is really easy to skip into the Ripto fight. Like, it's comically easy. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it. It's really not hard to do. Um, so, for a long time, the any percent category for the game was called 14 Talisman, because you still needed the 14 Talismans to get into the gulp fight. Uh, or I'm sorry, I shouldn't say it was called 14 Talisman. It was 14 Talisman. It got that name later. For a long time, it was just any percent. But, uh, I want to say it was around 2013, uh, there was a speedrunner named Tuval, who basically ended up defining most of the categories of this series, because he single-handedly found pretty much all of the most game-breaking glitches. He found a version of what I just did, which lets you skip into the gulp fight. So then any percent just became a boss rush, uh, dang it, three bombs, and the old any percent became 14 tally. Uh, now I'm running 100% of course, yeah, not for the final boss, but one of the mini bosses. And also, this is still the only way we know of, practically the only way we know of, to skip into Gulp. There's arguably other ways, but this is basically it. Um, anyway, for 100%, you know, you might think, well, we need to do everything anyway, so why are we doing the bosses immediately? And there are a couple of reasons. For starters, uh... By beating Ripto, it, like, opens all of the money bags payments. You never need to talk to money bags again, and you get all of the abilities, climb and head bash immediately. We still buy swim, just because it's pretty fast to buy swim, all things considered. Nice. We got through gulp first try. Crush was harder than gulp for us. <laughs> anyway, uh... We open all the money bags payments, so we never need to talk to him again. In normal 100% runs, beating Ripto gives us what's called extended Sparks range, where Sparks... It's ridiculous. Sparks' range, like, I think more than doubles. 
So for 100% where you're trying to get all the gems, that's really useful. That's obviously not helpful in Sparksless, but this route ends up being fast anyway. Um... But the other thing that going here first lets us do is what I'm heading over towards right now. You went down a rabbit hole of Spyro quizzes? Let's go. Any good ones, Noi? Do they have any how many Spyro 1 dragons can you name quizzes? What am I doing? This isn't... Just go this way. I have a good night, Noi. Okay, so a thing about Spyro 2 and 3, when portals are closed, the portals are actually just, like, right under the map. So I'm going into Dragon Shores right now. It's really easy to get into basically all of them from Out of Bounds. And then from here... Ah, oh, almost first try. Normally you need to get a bunch of collectibles to actually get into Dragon Shores, but uh, we can jump out of bounds fairly easily. And now we have the infinite fireball power up. So that's why we come here. That's true. I, I've thought about learning the uh, how to swim over to it for Sparksless runs, but um, I'm still not supposed to be getting these yet. I don't know what I'm doing. It's been so long since I've run Spyro 2. <laughs> Yes, the pause menu is very different. Oh, I'm too low. Oh, and I don't have head bash yet. What am I doing? <laughs> Oops. You know what? You know what? You know what? Let's try to Sproder into Ripto once. I think we can do it. I think we got this. <laughs> Almost. Almost there. That is the fastest way to skip into the Ripto fight, and it's very hard. <laughs> I have done it before, but it's very hard. I'm bad at this, also. What I'm going for trying to swim into the river is quote-unquote the easy way, but it, it can be a little tough. Come on now, this shouldn't be that hard. There it is, okay, much better. Oh right, and I don't have sparks, so I need to hit all of these on my own. No, I need that. <laughs> there we go. In Reignited, there's also a way to skip into the gulp fight, and it is wild. What? Hey. The short version is there's a way to trick Spyro Reignited into thinking you're always in a speedway. And that is just one part of skipping into the gulp fight. I've always thought Reignited Trilogy runs looked really fun because of that. But, uh, I mostly don't enjoy the movement in Reignited, so I've never Never actually tried to do one. Yeah, this fight gets really easy with Fireball. Woo. But 
But yeah, with the uh, the way to trick the game into thinking you're in a speedway, that only works in Spyro 2, but if you do it in Spyro 2, it carries over to the other games, so you can just, like, quit out and go play Spyro 1 where you can supercharge and fly everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they, like, totally remade the physics, so it's... I... I don't hate the physics in Reignited. I just don't enjoy it nearly as much as the originals. Oh, I wanted that. There are actually a lot of things about Reignited that I like a lot. Just, uh... Not as much as the originals. Have a good drive, Lucas. Yeah, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Because the optimal thing would generally probably be to just open up Spyro 2, get level storage, and then, uh... And then play whatever category you're gonna play. Really? Boop. That's not the right way, that's what I wanted. We are through boss rush, though, and ooh boy, am I happy. <laughs> that was the thing I was most worried about for this entire game. Ooh, that's not... Okay, I'm down here now. Make the best of a bad situation, get some gems. Let's try that again. There we go. I want that. I want all of these, please. <laughs> oh, ouch. Uh, why emulate it if you own it? Do you not have a way to play the... the copies? And Reignited does have fun speedruns. I... I gotta say, even though I don't run it myself, I always enjoy watching them at Spyrothon. There's... <laughs> it seems like every year there's some crazy new thing they found in it. Oh, you own Reignited, not the originals. I gotcha. Um, that's not right. Yeah, no, I guess that'll hit. Nice. I actually want to get all of these before supercharging. These are... Not ones I'm going to try to get with supercharge, for sure. I want that, too. Did I miss? No, I guess I got everything there. Uh, I don't think it has anything major. 
if anything at all. Not that I've heard about anyway. That's it, yeah. I mean, it might have bad loads, but for speed runs, it's, uh... Console runs are done IGT anyway. personally. That was silly of me. Oh no. What did I miss? What did I forget about? Could have been literally anywhere. <laughs> Can you clip that? I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hitting that guy. That doesn't help me. Got those. Got all of this. Got all of that. Got everything down here, I remember. Uh... On consoles, it's 30. On PC, you need to cap it somewhere between 30 and 60. Because the game has glitchy issues. Oh, I forgot there's gems at the start, right? Sparks normally gets those. That's why. Um... Yeah, no, there's a separate Spyro Reignited board for console and time trials and PC. Which sounds silly, but also I don't blame them at all for doing that. It It's one of those it makes sense if you follow the development of it things. <laughs> Thank you, Muzz. Yeah, it's just that there is a load remover for PC, and there's not for console, and so it doesn't make a lot of sense to compare them. That, that's the main thing, as I understand it. I say as if I actively know everything about reignited speedrunning. Ooh, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm fine. Yep, that's it there. Zoe, I'd appreciate a zap. Thank you. Good aim, for sure. Yeah, some of those frame rate tied bugs are silly to have not been caught. It does get so much easier with Fireball, doesn't it? Ah. 
Okay. I wonder who has the no fireball record. Because that is, that is a category extension. People have done that. A no early Ripto, no infinite fireball run. I want to say maybe Ali Dest has it? I know that, uh... I think she has the no ER record, at least. The no early Ripto record, that is. Ah, forgot about that. Glad I saw that. Oh, thank goodness. Um, there's a route variable that you can change. Uh, N-E-R means no early Ripto, E-R means early Ripto. And then, yeah, for the Fireball, it's a category extension, which is on a totally separate page. Sparksless is also in the category extensions. Uh, the URL is speedrun.com slash spyroce. Um, where am I going? I, oh, I did get it. I'm really surprised that connected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you need to, like, select a button that shows unofficial releases, and then it'll come up. Something like that. That is the best I have ever done those birds. <laughs> By miles. Bone Dance is a whole category. Popular one, too. Uh, the category extension leaderboard is actually relatively new. 
I think it might have been, like, the start of this year, actually, that it was made. Or maybe... Maybe last year. Um, like, late last year. Before that, there were just more miscellaneous categories on the main boards. Nuke leveled up. Let's go nuke. There's also a Google Sheet that I made for category extensions before this board was made. But sadly, that does not get much attention anymore. No ER is Alley, gotcha. I thought it was. Wait, no ER or no fireball? Because the normal 100% uh, no early ripto I thought was like just under an hour 40. No major skips, no ER. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. But yeah, no no major skips, that is basically what I was thinking of. I wasn't around in the community back when this all happened, but apparently there was like a bunch of drama around the idea of allowing the no early Ripto route to exist. Dang it. Thought that might happen. Just because, like, you can end the game on Ripto, but nothing is making you? But it's clearly what is supposed to be the end of the game. See, so yeah, I guess... I guess there was a bunch of debate back then. Stop it about if that should be allowed. Oh my goodness, please. Spyro. Spyro, double jump, please. Regular is also alley with a 139. Yeah, okay. That's, that's what I remembered being true. Honestly, even getting sub 2 is really impressive. Get... Oh no. Oh my god, did I do it? Did I get both of them? <laughs> I did! Let's go. Oh, actually, wait, I want those gems, like, right now. Those are really easy to forget about if I don't get them immediately. Oh, and this whole area is a pain. Because these can poke you real good. There we go. Oh, right, I need to get that first. Duh. Yeah, early Ripto doesn't save a ton of time, but it saves quite a bit considering you are going way out of your way with this route. <laughs> like, you're not going into levels as you pass them. 
I feel like you would expect that to end up losing a lot of time, but the extended sparks range in the fireball just makes such a big difference. Dang it. Oh, this level actually kind of stinks sparksless. Because <laughs> every time you die, you need to restart this whole thing. You know what? You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're doing. Here's what we're doing. Here, hit him. Oh my god, he hit me too. These lemurs are so cute, but this is a problem. Hit it. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Just to make sure. Is the egg still in place? No, I do need to redo this entire thing every time. Okay. But I do have those. Yes, good. Okay. 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 I have a plan. I say I have a plan. I don't have much of a plan. <laughs> I have a very vague idea of a plan. I don't know. This seems like it's fast enough. Ah, oh, rats. <laughs> yeah, you did, didn't you? Okay, now I think the rest of this path I can just treat as I normally would. would. Go over here, jump up here. I already ran around this, so then I go over here. Okay, I kind of wanted all of those. <laughs> That did not land where I wanted it to, but that's fine. Actually, yeah, that's fine. I can go take care of that right now. Because I want to be down here anyway. Normally you just, like, drop down into the middle of these enemies, but that's gonna get me killed. So, doing that from a safe distance. That's another nice thing about uh, about doing this with Fireball is anytime, specifically doing Sparksless with Fireball, anytime I want to just like take a step back and play something really safe, I can. I can shoot things from miles away. Hey CFG, yeah. It's been going pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how things have gone. I died on Crush like six times, but other than that, I've been pretty happy with how things have gone. Maybe not six times. It was probably like three times. And then I got through Gulp first try. Is there anything behind me? No. Good. Wait, really? That's it? Huh. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be missing something by the end of this. I'll be really surprised if I'm not. <laughs> nice. Right, so... <laughs> If you go to speedrun.com slash sprash, that's where the multi-game multi, multi -game runs are kept. It's Spyro and Crash put together. Which feels a little silly now, but that made a lot of sense back when the communities were made. Nope, looks like we got everything.
because the Sprash Vecta is a race that happens every year. Where people play all three of the original Spyro games and all three of the original Crash games. And so because of that it made sense to put them put them all there. It really is a 12 hour speed run. <laughs> No CFG, nobody's done this before. I'm still the only person that's done Sparksless 117. Even. Yeah, okay. Did I get that guy? I did, yeah, okay. Get that out, Spyro. Get that out of your mouth. What are you eating? What was that angle? Oh, what was that angle? Spyro 2 Sparksless is so hard just because normally you rely so much on Sparks picking things up from miles away. So I just, I don't know where most gems are. <laughs> I need to keep looking around often to make sure I'm getting everything. <laughs> That's not an angle. That, what? How did that not work? There we go. Yeah, the enemies uh, that you normally freeze for this challenge are in that room, just invisible. So, uh... Yeah, you can bonk on them. You can also hit them with your fireballs. You need to be careful to aim around them. Bonk. Oh gosh, I forgot about that one loose gem. I'm just gonna hit the guy. I. <laughs> it takes like two seconds and just makes everything easier. Oh my god. No! Get down here. <laughs> What, the Spyro mobile games? Or mobile game? Wait, there's a Spyro mobile game? I thought there was a... I think there's a Crash mobile game I know of. Is there a Spyro mobile one? Oh, why would I shoot those instead of flame charging them? What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. The answer is I wasn't thinking. <laughs> I need to stop flame charging things from a distance. That's not helping me. Turn.
turn better. Okay. Yeah, I'm not getting all of these. What? Yeah, this challenge is funny with Fireball. <laughs> Augur. All the way done with Winter Tundra. I mean, except for the homeworld stuff, but like all the way done with all the levels. Did I leave anything in that water? I think I got everything. I think it was just those few, I hope. I hope. We'll find out later. It just says no to physics. Oh, he does that so much in this game. I love it. I actually really want to pick up this extra life. I don't know. Maybe I don't need that. No, enemies can still hit me. I... Nothing is hard in the way that Crush or Gulp are going to be hard, but enemies can still hit me at basically any time, and I'd rather not game over if I can avoid it. Getting through the Sparksless, the first ever Sparksless 337 without a game over would be quite nice. <laughs>
have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. That's not right. <laughs> Aha, trick shot. I was messing with the goalie. Definitely deliberate. Something tells you swallowing the puck is generally not a legal hockey move. You may be surprised, but Spyro actually learned that from Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> no, I don't know. I've never played hockey, it's hard to say. What? Oh, dang. I messed up. It's normally really easy to get shots. <laughs> shots past the goalie. Hey, just to make sure I'm not dumb, Wayne Gretzky is that one really good hockey player, right? My brain didn't just like... Uh... I couldn't turn the camera. I couldn't see. <laughs> Wow. He is, yes, okay. I mean, I don't know basically anything about hockey either, other than Wayne Gretzky is considered, like, one of the greatest athletes of any sport ever. At least by some. Like, he is just so heads and tails better than everyone at hockey. <laughs> be put in the penalty box for a bit. Yeah. Oh, why would I do that? I'm not good at sprotering anymore. It's fine. I got it anyway. It's okay, guys. I know we were all worried I would fall into the ice there, but it's okay. I need that gem, too, actually. By anyone with a functioning brain. Strong statements from Muzz. I don't trust myself to get all of these before the cutscene plays. Well. All you know about hockey is what you learned from Spyro. It's a calm and meditative game, that's right. These monks play it, they love it. I didn't realize until, like, I don't know, four years ago that it's hilarious that these monks picked up hockey. <laughs> Like, I didn't get that that was a joke until I actually thought about it for a second. Uh, yeah, and then down here.
That's not how to start this level. Start by going to the right, get those gems, then get that. those later. Turn around, turn around. Take the path that I actually know. Bully that redfish in preparation for fish. Oh, I kind of wanted to get all of those gems. There we go. Hardest puzzle in the world. Fish. So it is actually random what color fish will come up. We don't want reds. But, uh, sometimes people get a lot of reds. So we'll see. You know, it's actually been pretty dang good so far, I'd say. That was great fish! Was that, like, two red fish? Yeah, so far in Spyro 2, uh, I died, like, three or four times to Crush, but I beat Gulp first try, so I think that makes up for it. And other than that, I, I think I'd say missing that gem in Lost Fleet is probably the worst mistake I've made so far. Really happy I could get that gem. Except for maybe the mistake of not practicing Spyro 2 at all. That... That, I suppose it could be argued as a bigger mistake. Yep, just shoot the foreman in the head. That's... That's what I wanted. Nice. Oh. Angles. And I already got everything. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I've thought about early Ripto quite a bit, and I, I do think it still makes sense. The time save from Fireball ends up being quite a bit. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? Toaster. Use your brain. Almost. Almost. I mean, why... would I go all the way out to Fireball and not just fight Ripto while I'm in Winter Tundra then? Like, you are right there. Oh, right. I guess I need to get all of these separately, huh? Yeah.
I don't know, I feel like skipping through the credits and leaving Dragon Shores doesn't take that long. Where the alternative is, find a route where, after getting everything, you then go back to Winter Tundra. I don't know, I guess. I guess not. Yeah, you might be right. I guess whenever I've been thinking about it, the question I've been thinking about is Fireball or not. Just kind of lumping those together. But yeah, it's kind of a moot point anyway, since I actively want to end on Bone Dance. You make good points, Nitroff. You should, uh, you should beat ZL's Sparks Lissando record and show everyone how it's done. Yeah, of course I'm ending on Bone Dance. Don't you see my splits? I'm pretty sure ZL only did one Sparks Lissando run, so... He got like a 217. I think you could beat that, honestly. Oh, that's fair, Stu. Yes, I'm ending on Bone Dance. I always end on Bone Dance. Imagine not ending on Bone Dance. I don't remember which of these stairs has gems. <laughs> Is it just those? Yeah, it looks like it's just those. Imagine playing Spyro 2, fair point. No. Oh, Bone Dance is something special. Oh, I actually want these without swimming. <laughs> I forgot. Gems are much easier to grab not swimming. There we go. That's way too high. Oh. No, it's not. Why did I do that? Stop hitting things from a distance! My brain! That's not helping me in Sparksless. Especially when I'm swimming. I just keep fo following my instincts from normal Spyro 2 runs. Um, I never really got an Ocean Speedway route. I don't know, I just kind of do whatever. It seems to work out. I do the same on Icy Speedway, actually. Icy Speedway usually feels like it works out better, though. I should have stopped getting these a while ago. I'm so far off of the rest of the arches. Don't just...
Yay, optimal. <laughs> I usually do it better than that. Not much better, but I'd like to think it's better. <laughs> I'm on world record pace, that's right. Good point. Every route I'm doing is a world record route. I also used to be marginally better at this. Uh, uh, wait. Wait, I forget which one of these he gets first. Oh god. Oh god. What am I doing? Did I miss one? Yeah, I missed one. <laughs> I used to be a lot better at this, dang. I got trash at Spyro 2. Who knew not playing a game for months and months and months would make you bad at it? Yeah? Bug yeah. Hi, Bug yeah. Uh, it's random what Beep Boop Boop Bot will respond to. You can't exactly just force it like that. Yeah, and it also has a cooldown. That as well. <laughs> it has a longer cooldown than that. Get out of here, Alora. Trying to be all helpful opening Ocean Speedway for me, but I'm already done with it. I'm over Ocean Speedway. You don't know me, you're not my real dad. <laughs> Great. Thank goodness, I charged into that windmill exactly like I meant to do. No! What? Yeah, what? Coming at me like that when I'm unprepared? That was a jump scare. Spyro 2 is a game of jump scares. Also rats. Those rats are pretty cute, actually. I feel bad for charging that one. I like these rats. No, ooh, okay. Almost fell there, but we're good, we're good. Rocked. What? Hey. There we go. Thanks for shutting. Completely whipped that. Shot way too late. Thank you. Button must be pressed from the front, of course. 
Of course, of course. Just... no. Yeah, good. How did I... What? Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Don't trust anything, so I'm gonna go collect that. Drama in the Spyro community? Never! No. Also, I don't have a plan here. I'm playing this really bad right now. Did I even get those those baskets? I did. I did get the baskets on the roof. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought I was forgetting one there. Okay, I think that's everything here. I'm pretty sure it is. Nope. Oh. It's not as bad as some communities, but it's it's not uncommon. It also depends on what you define as the community. Yeah, I know, drama in an online community? Imagine. You know what community has never had any drama? The reboot speedrunning community, of which has two members. I don't need to hit that guy now. I gotta stop doing that. Gonna learn reboot just to start shit, wow. You only watch Chloe? I mean, I think I have gotten used to not joining large speedrunning groups anymore and just hanging out with cool individual people. That is much better in my mind. Get you two, get out of here. You kids, leave my lightning and orbs alone! There's nothing there. Why am I looking there? I did this completely wrong. There's a whole route you can do that makes this fast and good, and I just... I dropped the ball immediately on coming in here. Yeah, I thought so. You think two people cannot constitute a community? Interesting choice. Interesting stance to take. Right. Turn around. He uses routes in a speed run, not this guy. Why is there an extra orb down here? No. No! Get back here! Good. These are the last two. I know that says 8 out of 10, but that's because I know where the actual last two are. Oh, didn't get the glide. I like doing that too, Piper. 
I, I said it earlier in the stream, I was talking about it. I love picking up speedruns for obscure games and just figuring out stuff on my own. That's much better than being in a spot where I realize a timing method doesn't make sense and long-time mods refuse to change it. Or something, you know, just coming up with whatever ideas might cause problems in a community. <laughs> yeah, you have to kill all the thieves and place all the orbs. No, don't get on the button. I didn't want to free the kids. Oh well. Shouts to the PS1 Scrabble community mods. They're great. I... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This isn't hard. Why am I struggling with this? There. I didn't want to free the kids. I stand by that. Use it in whatever context you want. <laughs> Hit that, please. <laughs> Kids can be stuck in here, that's fine. Oh, I thought those were two baskets for some reason. I probably thought those were two baskets for the reason that I don't run this game. <laughs> I even turned towards him. Man. Still an improvement. turtle trying to go back down that hill. Thank you, Advisor Moppet. Thank you for advising me. It was nice when I realized these follow a really nice pattern of how they come out. <laughs> that was... 
That was a good realization while running this game. God damn it. It would help if I wasn't bad at charging, though. Come on now. There we go. That's better. That's better. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not! What? You get back there. There we go. Turtle soup. Tortle. There it is. Good. Okay. Now, I think next up is what I would call the hardest single level in this. Not hardest. Not hard like I'm gonna die a bunch. Just hard like collecting gems quickly is difficult. Because this is the only fully underwater level. It's not even fully underwater. Ooh, actually, it's not fully underwater. Should I get a bunch of this stuff before I put it underwater? I will stew. I mean, Chad is on the side anyway. How close am I to the end of the game? Um... I'm, like, a little over halfway through. This is the last level in Summer Forest. But, uh, Autumn Plains has the most levels, by a lot. So, it it's a while. I might be able to sub 9, maybe. It's possible. I, I wouldn't rule it out, but I also wouldn't count on it. Um, actually, you know what? I would rule it out. I changed my mind. There's no way I'm doing that in under an hour. Because this level on its own is going to take me way more than four minutes. I think. I suspect that is true. Sub 10. Yeah, very easy. Very, very easy. Sorry, is that everything? Yeah, that is everything. Okay. There was a time when I would just know if that was everything. <laughs> Maybe I'll I'll get decent at Spyro 2 again someday. No. No. <laughs> Crab. Crashless. <laughs> I've thought about trying a, uh, maskless... A sparksless, maskless Sprash Vecta, I think, would have to be it. But, uh... I would need to learn Fumbling in the Dark and Lights Out without masks, and that would be hard. I want to, at some point, but it'll be hard, so not anytime soon. Just get out of here, Tuber Eyes. 
Yeah, no, it's definitely not the same. I mean, I've tried coming up with Sparksless equivalents for other games, and there's really nothing that's quite like this. Sparks just makes such a profound impact on how the game goes. There, there's really not much that would be such a simple change that would affect it so dramatically. So sh sorry, little sheep. Uh, yeah, and then these. Sure. It is a really cool thing in Sparrow, yeah. Checkpointless? I mean, kinda? I don't know, Crash 1, you already basically have to do Deathless. <laughs> Not yet, Nuke, but I will say that in a bit. <clears throat> next level, actually. I will say that in the next level. I'm just gonna go around getting these gems. <laughs> Trying to get these on the Manta sounds like a bad idea. I don't know actually, does the Manta have the same gem collection hitbox that it does in Spyro 3? Because I actually really like getting gems on... I forgot about the ones up there. I really like getting gems on the Manta in Spyro 3. I wonder how different Crash 1 would play if you messed with the spin timer. Like if you only get one spin and then you need to wait for it to recharge. I mean, I don't want to just say Crash 1, but Spinless. Because the thing about Sparksless is it needs... Crash 1 doesn't have sliding. Good. Sparksless... 
you need to come up with a new plan for everything. Basically. It's not always a super different plan, but it's different. You you need to make new, new movement for all of the levels. But it's not like it's actually taking away any of your powers. It's just harder. So I would want it to be a challenge where some kind of modification that forces you to just change how you approach, like, everything in the game. There... I don't flame that. <laughs> there. But yeah, it's hard to say for sure what that would be. Nope. No. Whatever, I'll get that in a second. See that grin over there? I... I was flaming. What does Sparksless mean? Normally, when you play this game, you have a dragonfly that represents your health and also collects gems for you. Uh, and in Sparksless, I'm using a memory hack that locks your health at zero, so you need to collect all the gems on your own. And also, you die in one hit, so you need to be very careful everywhere. Sparks is on vacation, that is what it means. I mean, it is a one-hit run. That definitely impacts it, but the biggest thing is that you need to collect all the gems yourself. Normally when playing this game, you end up relying on Sparks so much. Oh my god. What it- what? Why? Wait. <laughs> Stop it. No. Why? What? <laughs> Stop. Stop. I won't time it. You can't make me. I used to time it. I know I should have done that. <laughs> There's a really easy way to time it, I just remembered after you said that. <laughs> You just, like, aim near where they land, and you jump and fireball as they come out. That was a really bad way of describing what I was thinking, but yes, I remember doing that in runs now. When even was my Spyro 2 PB? Was that this year? Was that, like, ten years ago? Have I ever played Spyro 2 before? This is another Sparksless 117. Oof. No thanks. Like, at least I know what I'm doing in 117 now. At least compared to this. But, uh... Cool. But this is much shorter still. I'm gonna get all these gems on the ship while I'm thinking about it, because I forget about those a lot. Spyro's teleportation powers, of course. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Come on, Spyro. You're better than this. There we go. Massless is free. At Tooper. Tooper free. Good proxy. Good, good squeeze. Uh, ah. There we go. No. No, he doesn't. Toop Wazowski is mine. Uh, Mastless has been alarmed for a while. Oh, Nitroff, you asked about what my Autumn Plains plan was. Um, I'm gonna go do the upstairs stuff now. And then after Icy Speedway, break the wall for Gulp Skip. Uh, and then fly down, grab the orb on the the island with the three baskets that you normally get much earlier, and from there head over to uh, Crystal Glacier. That's how I that's how I do hundred percent with Bone Dance. Yeah, I don't know of an Alora warp that uh, that would go the other way. I haven't thought about that. That's not. That's not how to start this level. Stop going that way. Oh, that's true. They do do that in 14 Tally, don't they? Yeah, that does sound right. See, Sparksless Hundo has... Oh, wait, that's not a Sparksless thing. That's a Bone Dance thing. Never mind. I was about to say Sparksless Hundo has so much untapped potential. But no, that's just because of my weird route. Uh, it's this way because I'm the person running it, and I like ending on Bone Dance. There we go. Come on. Come on! There it is. Okay. Oh, I'm not in the right position now. Oh, right, no sparks. I need to actually get that myself. <laughs> you get out of here. No, no, you... Whatever. Whatever. We got it. Whatever. Those definitely hit me, but I'm not gonna fight it. doing? That's not... That's not right. The monkeys. Oh, right. I always 
forget the order he does this for some reason. I don't know why I have trouble with that. I didn't need to kill that guy, I just... he looked at me funny. No! What do you mean? Oh, I got all the ones up here. I didn't think I actually would have. Oh, right, the gem is up there, not on the bottom. Why I would try to be doing it everywhere? No, that's just a habit I picked up. I mean... I guess relative to how much time I have put in the game, sure. I guess you could say it has been relatively recently. But I mean, I learned Sproder and Eripto, like... Well over a year ago now. I just... My strategy for getting better at things like Sproder or like Wall Glides is do them everywhere. And you'll get better at them. But yeah, also, I just don't play Spyro 2 very much, so... So the whole get better at them thing hasn't really completely happened yet. Thank you, Nitro. Have a good night. Lila, please. I'm busy. <laughs> Good hover. Really useful there. Uh, yeah, no, keep going this way. No! Hmm, bees. Bees.
be? <laughs> Cute bee. Oh, right, this kind of sucks, Sparksless. I forgot about that. I disagree, Lucas. I like Fracture Hills. I, I like Fracture Hills in the speedrun. Needing to do this challenge twice sucks, casually, but... But in the context of how I play the game, I enjoy Fracture Hills. Please. Please. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, sure, Hunter. That's... <laughs> Oh, hey, Deezy. Oh, good, I did get the second gem there. Okay, so I'm over here. I don't need that life. I can stop picking up extra lives. Do need these, though. Derek. Thank you, thank you. Three thousand calories. Fantastic. Was it a single food thing that you ate, or did you just have a feast? Or did you eat, like, five Oreos or something? I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing up here at the start. Oops, that didn't connect. I wish I had pushed myself to actually go through boss rush and do practice of this game. Because <laughs> I feel like it would have helped a lot. Okay. Just 
just at the very least reminding myself where gems were and stuff. Would have been kind of nice. Okay. Oh my goodness, thank you, Pander Sarah. That is me, the amazing Captain Zando. That's what I call myself, that is what I insist everybody calls me. I hope you're having a good day, Pander. Pander. Uh, there's nothing there. I don't need to look there. I know there's nothing there. Bob Cool. Lieutenant Bob Cool. There we go. Uh, yeah, no, start this. And actually, I'll just do this now, yeah. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, no, I can get that later. Never mind. I'm fine. I'm fine. I... I don't remember the route at all. Oh my goodness. I can get that later, but I want these now. No, I could have gotten those later, too! Crud. That's Admiral Captain Bob Cool. No, that's not right. Turn around. Then I would hit that one, and then get these two. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I... This is not right. We got everything, though. Huzzah! I'm really surprised by how few missed gems I've had this run. Huh. 
Huzzah! You know, I wasn't so sure about, uh, about beating my Sparksless Hundo PB, but I'm feeling pretty good about it at this point. Again, my PB was just under three hours, and this is kind of looking like it's going to be only a little over two and a half. We might eat. Spyro, why weren't you turning around? <laughs> um. Oh, God, and I need to start over now. What was I about to say? Um. I still really don't think Sub 9 is happening, though, sadly. Oh, I was gonna say. Might maybe be able to beat Noi. I think noise time was like just around 2.30. There's nothing over here, stop it. Wait, no, 2.30 would be sub 9, never mind, that's not happening. But still, I can get a pretty good time, though. I can get a much better time than what I had. That's not where I needed to be. That's what I wanted to hit earlier. Wait, really? Hit it. Why? There it goes. Please hit that. Oh god. Oh god. I... whatever. I can't tell if I got all the gems over there. I think I did? Yeah. Yeah, no, I did. I did. Oh, have fun, Muzz. Yeah, I guess it is, uh... I guess it is New Year's Eve for you, isn't it? Oh my god. There we go. Oh, I forgot about those. Oh, those two gems. Those three gems. I also forgot to get a thief, so this is all wrong. <laughs> this is just all wrong. I, I, I kinda 
kind of dropped the ball here kind of a lot. Fun fact about that whirlwind, if you go into it and just hold right, because you want to go back this way, you'll just go into the end of level portal. Oh, and I forgot these gems too. Good thing I came back. Didn't miss anything. Let's go. Turn. Thank you. I went way too far out there. I was supposed to just turn back up and get that arch. No. Hey now. There we go. sub nine it's gonna be real close if I do this challenge does go on for a very long time because I only have four levels left after this and traveling to those four takes a little time but once I'm there they're all like right next to each other and one of them is Metro Speedway which is pretty short but one of them is Zephyr which is really long Also, to be honest, I don't completely remember my Scalos route. I need to route in a bunch of enemies to, uh, to get the invincibility. <clears throat> but it's only four levels. No, I, I think I am gonna just barely miss sub 9 by a few minutes. It is a very long glide, yes. 
I wonder if that's the longest glide we do in this game. Or in any of these games. Can't imagine we do anything like that in Spyro 1, and I can't think of anything like it in Spyro 3. Oh my god. No! He was waiting for me. Oh. <laughs> Crud. Turn. There we go. Oh my god. Crumbs. Spyro. Thank you. Like how good their aim is. No, I ow. You know what? It's fine. We haven't had a level in a while where we just accidentally tied a bunch, which I kind of expected to happen a lot more often than it has, so I can't be too upset by this. this whole thing done sparksless what you that draclet took a bullet for the other one heartbreaking that hero <laughs> You- oh my god. Stop jumping. I'm gonna run out of flight. And I can't even get this gem! I'm out of flight already. This is a mistake. <laughs> they got me. The Draclets got me. No. I am glad I got all those lives earlier, yes. Oh my god, I'll just get it from a distance. No. 
Nox level 5 already. Very nice. No. Oh gosh. I forgot that enemy was there. Because, surprising as it might be, I never really think about the enemies in this game usually. I don't usually really have to at all. What do I think of the remastered? I liked it okay. I'm not really interested in speedrunning it. Just because I don't find the most basic movement as fun as I do the originals, but uh, the games themselves are fine. I enjoyed them. The speedruns are fun to watch. George is cute. Oh yeah, I actually really need to be careful to not fall into the water here. You found George. We did it, guys. We found George. Hey, I'm missing gems! I knew it was bound to happen eventually. What did I forget? I don't know why I'm going down there, actually. That... Yeah, the, that's not gonna help me. I got all the ones over here. Did I miss one of the ones around here? This would be my first guess. No. Did I miss one down here, actually? No, I got everything there. Huh. <clears throat> Did I miss one around this other little hut? No. No, I did not. Uh-oh. I have no idea where it is. Oh, there we go. We're so close, Nuke. We have three levels left. Just use sparks, duh. But no, that's fair. If you need to sleep, you need to sleep. Uh... Oh yeah. I don't really know when to get these. I think I do them now. Now feels right. <laughs> Panderpool. Panderbob pool. Hey, you. Yeah, there we go. Wait, really? What? No! <laughs> there we go. Okay, I actually need to, like, watch out for those birds. There we go.
A fun fact about that explosion, it hurts you. And if you jump into that room as you fireball the door, it'll just kill you if you're sparksless. I found that out last time I ran this category. Ah, almost. Uh, yeah, this way. Oh, I needed that. Where did that... Oh, it did land up there. Okay, good. Yo, golf! Golf, congratulations, you haven't missed the end. How was your stream? How was Forza? It was fun. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> Turn around. Okay, good. Dang it. <laughs> no, stop blowing it the other way, please. Hit it. There we go. Crud. It's so easy to accidentally bounce them off each other. No, stop it. No! Oh my god. Cowlicks, please. Hurting Calyx. There are two more Calyx. No. Not okay. No, stop it. <laughs> Um, it's hard to say exactly, but I would guess around 10 minutes. I have the rest of this, and I have Metro Speedway, which shouldn't take long, and then I have Scalos, and that's it.
It seems like sub 9 is not happening, but sub 10 is super, super free. It's gonna be like just over 9 hours. It's my favorite movie? I don't know. I like Jaws a lot. I might go with Jaws, actually. Maybe I do know. Oh, turn around, Spyro. Not Lord of the Rings, I know. What a monster I am. With my very hot take that Lord of the Rings is fine. It's good. You know what? Let's let's get this mystery jar open now. <laughs> no, I didn't know those bombs moved like that. They what? They home in on you? I never knew. I never paid enough attention to them to notice that. This? I'm playing on a PlayStation 1. Lessons learned. Ugh. Now I know. No. No. Stop with the bombs! Oh my god. That's not even all the gems! Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, no, hit it. Okay, good. What did I miss? What could I possibly have missed? I say possibly as if I was so thorough earlier. It could be anywhere. <sighs> it's probably near the end of the level. I was really reckless through that whole area. Got all of those I know. No, and I got those. Okay, so it's not at the end of the level. Could it... Fine, just go down here. Could it be around here, maybe? Yes, I totally forgot to get this. There we go. I mean, maybe golf. I'm gonna be making dinner after this. Although it's only... Only nearly midnight here. Uh, oh, there's a five there. Okay, good, good, good. That tracks. That is all of the gems. The sleep death of the universe. Woo! Yeah, no, that's right. Just turn right on around. Forgot about you. <laughs> I know how you feel, Piper.
I have had a goal to get sub 4 in 117 for like three years, and I'm still not there, but I'm only close because I made myself go through this. I missed that bird. No, I didn't. This just didn't turn on. What? That's weird. Maybe I had it off camera or something. And the only reason I was able to get myself to learn Hundo was because I was competing against a few friends. If I wasn't doing that, I definitely wouldn't have picked it up at all. I mean, I probably would eventually, but... But not when I did. Would... Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay, good. Um, would someone mind looking at the category extension boards and letting me know if I'm right that my Spyro 2 PB is like 250-something? I think it is. I think it's like pretty close to three hours. I'm pretty sure this is going to PB, but I'm not positive. Two fifty something. Okay. Two fifty forty one. Which would be like nine sixteen something. So yeah, I this is almost definitely gonna PB then. Which is good and not guaranteed. Like, I, I didn't know for sure that I would going into this. Hey, how did you dodge that? There we go. Yeah, I told you, Golf. I'm like right at the end. Three collectibles? Maybe. Maybe someday. I still haven't done just an 80 Dragons run, honestly. Um, hit those, please. Thank you. I don't care about the skill point, I just really need to take enemies out. <laughs> Jesta, thank you for the GG. You're a little early. You're a little bit early. No, I needed that. Oh, no, I did get it. Okay. Oh, that's right, I can't get that yet either. Oh my god, hit it. Thank you. So close! No! That was the last enemy I had to kill. Ugh. There. This is the best level of Spyro 3? I kind of agree with you. I really like Scalos. There we go. <laughs> if 
Hit it. Thank you. Yes, yes it is. Bone dance. We're almost there, everybody. We're almost to bone dance. I'm just gonna grab the invincibility again while I head over here. I don't need it, but I just, it's, I want it. That's all. I want it for these guys. Because I knew I would do something silly like that. Come on. <laughs> I'm missing a two gem somewhere. <laughs> That's fine, I'll look for it in a minute. Okay, I'm missing a two gem somewhere. <laughs> Let's go hunting. There it is. Found it. Oops. Here we go, gang. It's time. It's time for bone dance. Good run, good game. Video games. Video games. Look at that little jig. He's so happy. He's doing great. This is the guy in medieval? Yes. Absolutely. Alright, run it back. Could have been better. And that was like a, a 241. So yeah, that's a... That is APB. Pretty happy with that. Oh. Um, sorry. Check the guidebook, make sure. I always forget to do this, but yes, I did get everything good. Always forget about that.